Hello everybody, I'm ready to get started. Welcome in Parameter. So let's chat a little bit before we get into things. Welcome Chris. Um, well, we did the last boss in the water temple area slash the heretics cave, I think we called it. So at this point, we might have some cleanup just to go back there to see if there's any additional items. The game was like, you should talk to townspeople if you if you've, you know, if you've done something and maybe they'll have something new. So we'll see if we get any extra cutscenes for going back. I don't know how required they are. And then after that, I think the game, if I remember correctly, said Volcanos is the next place. Straining my memory a little bit there, chat. Names are not my forte. So hopefully that was correct information. I'm gonna go ahead and boot the game and I'm gonna silence the soundtrack at the same time. That is not the right one. There we go. Apparently I have two things labeled PS1. I mean, technically, one of them was correct, one of them was not. Interesting. I'll relabel that later. <laughs> I mean, Blue Donna's always with us in spirit. There's proof, Chad. He lives on. He's just in another scene somewhere. Still pondering the great mysteries of life with, huh? What? Oh no, and Parameter was also a star of destiny? I didn't know that. The plot thickens. The lack of sound scares me every time, chat. I'm not gonna lie. Every single time. I'm like, did it crash? <laughs> That's all you think about. It's a weird choice. Like, think about it. How often do you have, like, Sound on one page and then just literally nothing. Oh no, it's already infected in parameter. There you go, you've been to previously. That's what I was talking about. Oh, we actually aren't allowed to go to Volcanos yet, so never mind, this is mandatory. I do like the Kells Secret Cavern, which is also Heretic's Cave when we go into it. We're now in the mysteriously named town. Is it Pixie? Is it Pixel? Who knows? It's whatever the game feels like, chat. Oh, hold on. New dialogue. Ouch! Fires are not for walking into, Nimrod! I do like that they have different dialogue at different points in the story. Not really sure why. So, I hopefully didn't miss any items. All these places are empty. Extra crispy indeed. Now the guy... Well, now that the curio shop owner is gone, I guess maybe we never could get anything there? Because I, I swear the first time we were in town, they uh, had that going on. Where is everybody? Are they... Do I have to go back to the consulate or something? Oh. Uh, looks like the answer is yes. You have saved Aquas. I'm sorry I was such trouble. I wonder how many lives were lost because of me. I could never forgive myself for acting so terribly. I'm so ashamed of myself. I thought I'd found our savior in Levante, but I was fooled and the people suffered for my mistake. Afto, I'm so sorry. What if he never regains his health? He will never know how sorry I am. A mother's duty is to protect her child. I've done the most despicable act of all. I will try to make amends for the trouble I have caused. Interesting camera angle. I will make sure this town finds peace and that Apto receives a mother's love. You forgot about the mannequins? Yeah. 
Never forget. The people of Volkos are waiting for you. Good luck and thank you. Let's go to Volkos. They need us. You have a strange feeling come over you. Your LP has increased. Let them be alone for a while. Well, at least now we have 8 LP. That's a lot of extra health, chat. I mean, percentage-wise, it's going down over time, but the amount is getting up there. Hi, Eon. You saved us. Are you leaving town? We nod. Yes. I'm going to try and help the continent of Volkos. Good. I'm sure those people will appreciate your help. Why do I feel like we're just immediately going to get attacked in Volkos? Also, I feel like it's overdue for the army to directly just interfere with us. One of the above will happen. The townspeople will try to kill us, like these people. Or immediately shot down by Imperials or whatever they were called. Where you go, please come to the funeral we're having for our leader at the church. I mean, I guess... I remembered where the church was. Now loading. Heaven awaits this soul. Let us pray for the deceased. We're lost without our leader. He does not want you to grieve for him. He wants you to go on and do what he would have wanted. He reunited the people. Do you see what I mean? Like this, like they didn't say youth is saying this, but this is definitely a, a line not said by the priest. At least, it, feel, it would feel weird if the priest said this. We've reunited the people. Families are rejoined. It's what he wanted. I wish you could see it. It was not always like this. Town always used to stick together like a family. The people of Okos are waiting for you. We'll be alright. Thank you for saving us. I don't have much to give you, but have this. You turned to dry herb. Uh, do I need another dry herb? Oh, we're at eight. <laughs> wow, we have so many healing items, chat. Also, chat, I would like to give a I would like to give a small moment of silence because I was bored the other day, and I was looking at game facts. You you know how I love to go there when I'm bored, so. I saw one of the forum posts. I didn't look at the guides. And they were saying the game was very hard and that they got to a point where they ran out of healing items. Let's have a moment of silence for them, chat. I don't think they figured out the combat. I mean, I don't know about you. I have still yet to use the shop. I'm pretty sure. This is just all the stuff we picked up. The youth troop is trying to reunite the people. I do understand their criticism, though, and that is an interesting point. Like, what? how do you come back if you get really injured, if you're not good at the combat? Because there's not really another way to get money. Church bells. So it's kind of like a... a vicious cycle. You have to be a certain amount of good in order to prosper. So people never figured out that dagger OP in the corner, for example. They're probably in the struggle city. Riding the struggle bus. The church bells are ringing. Sounds like the bells are calling to the heavens. The bells continue to ring, signaling the departure of a soul. Uh, I think that was an extra cutscene we didn't technically have to see. Let's move on. 
I mean, I think it's an interesting point. That's why I wanted to bring it up in the playthrough. Like, not not to just, like, dump all over them, which, to be fair, is, like, half the reason I do it. But I, I think it is a somewhat valid point that there's no real way to come back. Like, if you do run out of healing items and you can't beat the enemies and you're pretty early in the game, I'm not really sure what you would do. Like, at this point... Now that I have stronger weapons and gear, if the other area is too hard, I could always just go back to the other continent. Do you know what I mean? For money. It'd be a little grindy. But yeah, if you were struggling on the first dungeon, that does seem like a rough time. Also, Chad, I'd just like to state... I'm looking at the continent names here. It says Land of Shilf, Land of Aquas, but then we hover this one and it's Land of Volkos! I don't know why it's all in capitals. Do you want to go to Volkos? So is it not in capitals there? Sure. Let's see, Chad. How long does it take before we get attacked? Does Chad want to guess the number of minutes or number of cutscenes? I'm going to guess within two. Okay, how how on earth do you pronounce this? <laughs> also, that's not how you spell barrier. It's almost like Heinz, but it's it's like Geinses? 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 I don't know. I'm not used to seeing G-E-I-N and that kind of combination, let alone going into the T. Anyway, where does Barry War? Barry War? <laughs> There's no A there. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be Barrier. Arcea says, This is Volkos. I think Gandor mentioned that they were planning to come here. Yeah. My distant relatives, Zeruas, lives in Volkos. Jeez, Barrier, pretty much. He is a somewhat eccentric, but a marvelous engineer. He may be able to help the, the good defeat the Vangel. If we don't destroy the Vangle, we'll never defeat the wizardry. You might also know the local wise men. That sounds very reassuring. Let me find Zeruas. He's a bit of a recluse and won't talk much to strangers. Let's go. Okay, if we get attacked here, we're living up to the two cutscene dream. This is Volkos. It is a fire continent. I don't know who said that. The goodest is to be repaired here? Now, Arcea, this time try not to be so naive. Wouldn't want to see you get locked up again. Laramie! I'm tired of rescuing you. Better make contact with Zeruus. The good can't wait up there too much longer. Yeah, the engine sounds pretty rough. If it doesn't get a tune-up soon, it might end up in a scrap heap. Corky. Oops. I have a bad feeling about this place. What? I want you to come with us. Even though we often disagree, you're pretty helpful sometimes. Yeah, and she's nicer than you. Come on, let's go. Wait, Laramie? I'm going. Hurry up, Eon. They already left. We better follow them. Why didn't we just walk with them? Why did we have to be told to follow them? Oh no, it still says Barry Roar. Gainz says, Hey, you look familiar. Haven't I seen you before? Yes, I've been here before. I remember. Do you still have that bird? I'm not a bird. I'm a spirit beast. I'm traveling in Eon's pocket. Oh, there you are. You're quite a character. <laughs> yeah, I, I think our character does have, like, the loading circle above his head whenever people talk to him. He's not quite, you know... <laughs> 
run it running with all the ram that he needs which way do you want to go what do you mean which way which way should we go there are two towns Tolku and Orkel they're on opposite sides yes to maintain the balance this continent must remain level so the lava will not spill out from the volcano. Wow, this is a really dangerous continent to live on. Could you imagine one one town happens to have more births than the others and just oops all lava. They all die. The volcano governs our lives. How can you live like that? <laughs> Chan, I feel like there's going to be some sacrifices to the volcano god, I'm just saying. It's a little complicated. I'm not going to try to explain it to you yet. Right, girl. Step up on the scale. That volcano makes me nervous. What are you looking at, Eon? Hey, you don't need to look. This staring habit is starting to become a habit with you. Laramie, we're just really slow. <laughs> We're still processing like five dialogues ago. I feel a bit embarrassed. E Eon, could you? Sorry. Hmm, I see. All right. Okay, now it's your turn. It'd be funny if we're like five notches on the scale. We're just like ultra fat. Hmm. You must carry five rocks to keep the balance. It's... It's that specific? I don't know, chat. Uh, you know, <laughs> you get to spend your disbelief a little bit, but it's to the point where three people is enough to tip it. That's a little crazy. There are a few rocks next to those two. Get them and get on the scale. Looks like five will do. What happens if I pick up six? Just to mess with him. You have too many. Can you give me one? No. You're not allowed to go if you upset the balance. Fine. Perfect. Now you must divide into two groups. Which way will you go? We will go to Orkel. I think we should start looking there. <laughs> that one's so good. I mean, apparently. I will follow your lead since you know this place better. Of course. Do you have any idea where we can find Zeroes? We're also looking for wise men. Wise men? What for? Well, try asking around in town. Yeah, they're getting arrested. I see. Let's get going. Um, you can get off the scale now. It it's okay, we're slow. We need to be told to do things. Eon, please be very careful. Let's get going. You know what? I'm surprised he didn't arrest us, so we lasted longer than I thought, chat. All right, let's go in unison. Oh, this is ridiculous. I'm ready. One, two, three. So like, do the Imperials like never visit here? Like how, how would you even visit this place normally with like multiple people? Like we could, the door could barely handle two people at a time. It must take, like, an eternity if you go in with, like, 20 people. Arcia and Laramie went to the town of Orko. They went to the town of Orko very slowly, apparently. Welcome to the apothecary. Excuse me, have you ever had any wise men come to your shop? Wise men? No, I don't think so. Let's try somewhere else. Sorry to bother you. Maybe you don't need to save this island, you're right. 
No problem. Come back anytime. Well, I found where the church is in the town that I can't go to yet. This is the mayor's house. <clears throat> Oops, sorry, one second. Okay. I'm sure you could find Zeroes. But no one has heard anything about the wise men. I think we should check here. He is the mayor, he should know a lot about the town. I think we ought to give it a try. Let's go inside. Vango battleship, there we go. Commander. I'm not your commander anymore, says Lieutenant. I don't know. Our new commander was the leader of the Despots. Don't worry, the brainwashing process means he's one of us now. Of course. How do we know for sure it worked? To test his loyalty, ordered him to kill his fellow pirates. So that's why we're heading for Volkos. We'll be using a high-speed current navigation system. The Hydro Storm? Can this ship travel at such a high velocity? It's a way to test his skills. What are you doing? Are you ready to pilot the ship? <sighs> we'll be exiting the Hydro Storm shortly. Have the torpedo ready to fire. The torpedo? Why? Don't question my orders. Chat, you know he's evil now because he's wearing a mask. Heard he wants to fire the torpedo. So, so what do you mean you heard he wants to fire the torpedo? He literally he just told you this. What are you having like brain lag like the protagonist? Not sure what his intentions are. It's the fire of the torpedo. <laughs> Why are they questioning this? It's probably to disperse the clouds or whatever. Control room intercom. <laughs> Brain damage soldiers, pretty much. The ship is now entering the hydro storm. Everybody take their positions. Good airship. This is getting old. We've been circling Falcos forever, waiting for Laramie's signal. We'll get dizzy if she doesn't make contact soon. Keep watching. Something seems very wrong. Just your nerves, sir. The instruments don't show anything unusual. I hope you're right. We're getting a lot of cutscenes, I will say. For a PS1 game, that's a decent amount of cutscenes. It's not quite like Metal Gear level, but you know, there are a lot of uh, mix of anime and also in-game cutscenes. What's going on? Should ask around town to find Zeroes. Uh, sure. Let's investigate the jar. Empty. Empty. Empty, 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 oof. Big oof chat. Okay, what's in the inn? Welcome to the inn. Can I help you record the trip? Okay. You want to know about Lysman? Remember correctly, a descendant lives here. Not sure who it is, there's so many new faces. Okay. Arena, named character, says, Hello, I love your hair. Is it naturally so red? 
just love the thrill of nature. What, are you looking for someone? <clears throat> Ask the old man at the meeting hall. He might help you. <clears throat> Excuse me, chat. Nothing in the jar. Please don't let this be the meeting hall. Okay, good. Empty, empty, empty. Little girl says, Nature's having its vengeance against us. We shall face the wrath which we have nurtured which we have nurtured. Um, okay. Open 24-7 service with a smile. Okay, we'll check it out. Welcome to the apothecary. How can I help you? Well, we have all these items if I want them. I mean, the rare potion is kind of interesting, but I don't know what our max MP is, to be honest with you. Right now, I don't feel like loading up on it, but if we feel the game has a difficulty spike, we could always come back here later. Right now, I think it's fine. Looking for Zeroes. Someone said they'd seen him inside the lava cave. You should check there. Okay. When I was a young lad, we had to eat popcorn a lot. The farmers kept planting corn, but the ground was too hot. There you go, chat. Popcorn everywhere. Wow, these town barrels suck. Can we talk about this? Not a single one I've looked at so far has had an item. This is a big old 0 out of 10 place. Jeez. I'm really scared to accidentally go in the meeting hall. Because that seems like I'll advance the plot if I do that. Oh, when I was a young lad, I had to walk across lava, fight fire-breathing dragons on my way to school, and now my life is dull. Where are you going? You'll upset the balance! Oh, is that literally the whole town? So there's no items in here at all. It's kind of place that makes me not want to check barrels, which makes me sad. Yeah, there's literally no payoff in this town. So there's only like two buildings. I'm gonna make sure I did these. I don't remember if I did. Thank you, Calvisham. Well, this is the only building we could enter, so presumably this is the meeting hall. Meanwhile, Arcia and Laramie are asking the mayor of Orkla about Zeroes and Wiseman. Houses of Oracle. Excuse me, can I ask you a question? They can't hide items in barrels and upset the balance. You know what? That that's probably the best canonical reason why there's nothing in the barrels. I like that a lot actually. What do you want? I'm a very busy man, and I don't have time to waste. Hoping to find the whereabouts of a wise man. What? And a scientist named Zeroes. I mean to disrespect you by coming in here like this. You want to do an inspection? Do you think I'm a fool? I've been the mayor here for over 30 years. What? I think you misunderstood. I meant respect, not inspect. Let me try again. Hello, Mr. Mayor. Listen to me carefully now. Where is Zeroes? Zeroes. Zeroes must be behind this. Do you know where he is? No, I don't know what you're talking about. 
This old fart is making me impatient. My goodness, Laramie. Take it easy on the poor man. Need to show a little more compassion for the elderly. Are you saying that I'm old? N no, I'm sorry. You look good for your age. Laramie dot dot dots. This is too much. I can't take it. My poor head. Laramie, please be patient. We need this information. I know. If we didn't, I'd be long gone. What is it you wanted? You two are wasting my precious time. We are looking for wise men and zeroists. Do you understand? We're not here to do an inspection. What are you doing here? You're wasting my time. Tell me what you want to get out. I give up. Meanwhile, as Gandor suspected, a great danger is approaching Volkos. Hmm. I must be imagining it, but I thought I saw that cloud move like some kind of a ship. Gandor! Huh? It's the Banjo closing at 3 o'clock! The Banjo? Maintain speed. Activate disruptor torpedoes. <sighs> What's he doing out here? Fire! Fire indeed, chat. And or dot 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 dots. <clears throat> Sir, I found a weak point. It's their cannon. Now's our chance. We can strike while their energy is still low. Let's board their ship and rescue our captain. Stay calm. We can't possibly defeat the Vangel if we attack now. How did they get here so fast? How could they be using the Hydro Storm? Imperial Wizardry doesn't even know how to navigate it. Unless our captain... Slazer would never betray us! Yeah, yeah. I can't imagine that our captain would reveal our secrets. They seem to know all the air currents. He must have brainwashed them. Let's not assume anything before we know for sure. What should we do now? They're keeping us away. We can't give up after coming all this way. Hey, look at the volcano. They fired right into the heart of the volcano. It's about to erupt. Both towns will be destroyed. Yeah, can we just skip saving this continent? This continent seems like a big waste of time. I'm not gonna lie. Chad, they, they made their poor life choices a long time ago. <laughs> Jill says, Laramie's an oracle and her friend is in Tolku. We can't save both towns. We have to try to save at least one. If we land on one side of the... Um, oh, excuse me. If we land on one side of the land, the ship's weight will tilt the continent. Lava will flow towards us. But then the lava will kill us for sure. We'll have to take our chances. Geo, as soon as we land, go to Oracle and find Laramie. Yes, sir. Engines are ready. Maximum thrust forward. Let's go. Vangel Battleship. Captain. What? It seems like a foolish plan. You could have destroyed the whole continent. My orders were to get rid of Zeroist and the Despot Pirates. 
I doubt your orders would destroy Volkos in the process. <laughs> I don't do things halfway. Don't contradict me. I'll have to report you. Oh, this is ridiculous. Do as you please. We'll send an investigation team as soon as the volcano quiets down. Yes, sir. Telco meeting place. Sensei says this used to be a school. It was closed because the people stopped having children since they knew the end was near. You know, I was joking about... I think I was partially joking about that earlier. At least I thought it. Where I was like, what happens if they have too many kids? Apparently they stopped having kids. So that answered that question I had for myself. Now it is just a meeting hall. I used to be a teacher. Can I help you? Do you know of any... Know of any wise men on this continent? We're also looking for a scientist, Zerowis. Hmm. What is this? Maybe it is the volcano. I wonder what upset it. Brace yourself, I'll go check it out. All right, let's find out what it is. No, I want to explore first. Yo, this meeting hall sucks. Where are the chairs? There's not even furniture in here. Yeah, Chad, we we are not missing much if we let this place descend into the sea. I'm just saying. Nothing of value was lost as we exit. Chairs would upset the balance, pretty much. Laramie says, What was that flash of light? And that blast? I'm frightened, Laramie. My fortune. I can't lose it. I've got to do something. How about the town of Tolku? And Eon and Corky. Uh oh, anime cutscene chat. What happened? The continent's tilting. Do you hear about it? A giant ship just landed here. Huh? We better go check it out. Yeah. What's going on here? Gandor asked me to check on you. Be careful! Laramie! Don't worry, I'll be alright. Don't you let Arcea out of your sight. Gandor! What are you doing on Volkos? Eon, the Slazers fired a disruptor torpedo into the volcano from Vangel. Huh? This eruption will flood both towns below with molten lava. We've got to try to save at least one of them. Well, don't save the one I'm at. There's, like, nothing here worth saving. Now loading. Hey, Eon! We landed the good here in town! Now the land is tilted this way, so the lava will be coming towards us. Good. <laughs> right, chat? Screw this town. You know, if they gave me items, maybe I'd feel bad, but nope. We, we met one little girl who had a name and that was it. We have to get the people to safety. Hmm. Is this actually like a timed cutscene? I wonder. Get everyone into the meeting hall and then the despots will take them aboard the good. Do you understand? Sure. Okay, we have to hurry. The good is right outside right outside town. Get on board quickly. Let's go, Eon. Okay. I'm old and useless. Don't trouble over me. I see. In case it's a time limit, I'm not going to read all the dialogue, but we convinced the old man not to die. Um... Run, the volcano is erupting. What? I can't leave my store for this. I'm staying right here. Life should perish. You're welcome to take my mer merchandise. 
Wow, okay. Well, we're gonna let him die then for sure. Someone's really angry at the volcano. We'll all perish. It's not like that. It's not the end yet. Come on, follow me. I'm saving as many people as I can. So we're going from like the furthest reaches. All right, so we told her to stay calm. She's saying the, the volcano erupted. What should we do? We just said we're going back to the meeting hall. So, so far, this is going okay. We're gonna save the name girl, I guess, that was up here somewhere. She's probably important to the plot. She's frightened what will happen to her town, but we're saying follow me. So I'm getting as many people into the meeting hall as possible so they could be rescued. Okay. Oh, it faded to black. I didn't make I didn't make it to the last guy in time. Oh, that sucks. Well, sorry all the people that were in the front of the town. I think I missed two people. Where is Eon? Isn't he back yet? Sir, we won't be able to... Able to, all one word. Bring the engines online in time to escape the lava. The only thing we could do is use the shields. Very well. Raise the shields. Aye, aye, sir. Where's Eon? Kandor. Hurry! People have all been taken aboard the Good. Now run to the town's entrance. Oh, that was automatic dialogue, I think, there. I didn't hit a confirm button. I think we're about to get anime lava -ed. The townspeople are all at the meeting hall. Might be get a little hot. The wall should be thick enough to protect them. From lava? What? Wait. <laughs> How how thick are these walls? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> um 30 seconds and the lava reaches us. Shields to full power. I don't think lava works like that, but you know. <laughs> lava has reached the shields. Stay calm. The inhabitants of Tolka were saved by Gandor. The ship's engines are overheating. Look! Oh, there's the fountain. This town is quite a mess, but the damage is not as bad as we thought. Yeah, how did this town not melt, by the way? The people should work on fixing up the damage. It will keep their minds off of what may happen next. I'm going to try and find Zerwa so we can make the repairs on the good. How are you going to find him? I'll have to go on foot. Maybe you could use Airlim. What is an Airlim? Is it an airship? No, no. He is a flying tower. He also has the lifting power. Heirloom, heirloom is controlled by whoever has the orbs. Ha 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 A flying tower! I've got to see this! But we don't know where Zerowis is, right? No. Is that important? Heirloom uses my mind to find the destination. If I don't know the location, he won't go... He won't know where to go. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of pictured Heirloom more as a woman, but whatever. It's fine. I mean, we made the Zordon joke, but I was trying to make them a little different. Oh well. Yandor says, Not very useful then. The, the tower probably doesn't have any weapons either, right? I think I'm better off going on foot. You guys should concentrate on lifting this continent. You're right. There isn't much more time. I'll look for Zeroes. You'll go to the town of Oracle and find Laramie and Arcea. Make sure they're all right. 
<laughs> a little running animation. Okay, let's go. So is everybody I saved in here, or I'm just curious. Nature's power is fearsome, but the power we have is even more destructive. We're probably the most fearsome force of all. Expect just something in the crate, but it's empty. Sucks. Never thought this hall would be used like this. Thank you for saving our townspeople. In appreciation, I give this to you. You attain a sacred stone. The scepter glows. A serious chant echoes through your mind. You learn the magic spell of heat storm. What was that? It had given me a heart attack. Fire wall attack consumes 30. Interesting. I found food in the jar. Oh, a full heal barrel. You bet it doesn't restore MP. We found a Venwada fruit. Oh, so now that the crates are in here, they have something? Yeah, screw this town. Glad it burned. What will happen to our town? What about the continent? It's like there's much hope for Volkos. Found food. Empty. Empty. I'm alright. There's no future. Just uh, tr try to find a way to pass the time. Wow, that is the most bleak outlook on life. So I'm guessing depending on who I save, it changes the items we receive here. And that's why so many things restore my health, in case I just fail to find people. Welcome, Kirk. Wait, oh, I did not mean to. He I didn't mean to heal. I was trying to do the menu. That sucks. Also, we can apparently have eleven herbs. Uh, I'm gonna use one of these then. 180. A lot of MP. Hmm. Let's read what his dialogue says. Why do we have to grow so old and become so useless? Some say we're the ones who should teach the young ones. Since there's no future, the people stop having children. Hope you're doing well, Kirk. <clears throat> so she seemed important maybe for a subquest later, so I saved her. We missed at least one person, so he's just effed, I guess. I didn't make it over to the inn. Sorry, you can't stay here. Open up the place for the homeless people. Alright, so we can save the game. Ooh, let's go loot the apothecary. He said we could have it if he died. You suspect there's something in the crate, you find an iron link. This used to be the apothecary. We're having a flashback to the guy that said, please feel free to take the merchant dice. Master, she'll use with care. I call the master, why? Scepter glows. Plate armor is restored, you have plate armor. Well, I guess this town eventually had something useful here. Ooh. Look at that defense increase from 27 to 65. What? More than double, holy. Well, now if we go back to the early continents, I don't even think they can hurt us, to be real with you. That's like having an entire extra life bar on our life bar, let alone each additional LP. Like, chat, we only have like 45 health, or, or 65 health. We added almost 40 defense. That's crazy. Well, I'm glad I found that, because that was skippable, by the way. Hey, what's in here? Found stones, what are they for? We know what they're for. Idiot, why are you asking that question? Let's talk to you. When the volcano erupted, the balance of the land changed. Now we have the freedom to travel between the two sides without causing trouble. Well, that's convenient. Um, I'm just getting the bookshelves in case something's there. Expect something in the jar, you found a sacred stone. Mysterious chant echoes through your mind, you've learned the magic spell of evil stop. What does evil stop do? Freezes enemies for a short time. Oh, so it's like I could skip it. It's 120 MP? 
Ew. Ew, that's not worth it. Ew. Can I just leave? I mean, I can investigate by just mashing X. No, I don't want to go back to Heirloom. I mean, I guess I could talk to Heirloom to get more hints to fill in more dialogue, but it's not really necessary. Alright, so let's go to the other town then. Town of Oracle. Oh no, my house is gone. I don't know what to do. My whole family's missing. Whoop, sucks to be you. Shaking the earth has damaged the town. Nothing in the barrel. Nothing in the barrel. Divine protection is with you. Your health is restored. Sure, we'll save. Oh well, whatever the other people drop, we're not going to get it. I'm not going to go back. Much of the town was destroyed except for the church. After some divine intervention. What is going on with the old lady? Why is she spinning? <laughs> Look at her go chat. Just wee. Could she not move while we're in the dialogue? Is that what happened? Hey chat, we found a bug. <laughs> they can't move when the dialogue's active. That's amazing. It's a shame that this land is approaching its end. We're seeing all the children laughing and playing. Oh. Oops, speaking of bug, look at that visual bug. I think I heard a girl scream when the earth broke open. Maybe she fell into one of the cracks. How awful. You fall from here. That will be the end. Or maybe not. What are you doing standing behind me? It made me fall down there. Shove. <laughs> right, chat? We're like, what an interesting theory. Let's test it. Shove. Door is locked. Nothing in the barrel. Nothing in the barrel. Dried herb. We have so many healing items, Chad. Holy. What a nice boy you are. I found hidden money. Nobody's watching. You attain 500 gems. Okay. Mayor ordered us to repair his house first, but I think there are others who need our help more than he does. How greedy. Oh, we just stole from the mayor. That makes sense. I don't want to go to the mayor's house yet. That seems plot related. Yeah, yeah. Something about your father. Listen, I'm just looting people. So the other guy was worried about his money and then we stole it anyway. Got him, chat. Checkmate. Oh, is that literally it? Do they not have any shops here? If so, that kind of sucks. Huh. I, I guess there aren't any shops unless this guy does something. The place was destroyed. Keep trying not to cry, but I'm very sad. Be kind to others. That is my motto in this time of need and sadness. Now I have to have a big sale. You better take advantage of it. Um. Sulfuric acid? Why does this feel like a plot item? It's very weird that this is the only place that sells it. I'm gonna go buy it with the gems that we picked up earlier. Um, I'll get a high potion now, why not? I did accidentally use MP earlier. Alvisham loves the mannequin mustache. All right, so I think that balanced me accidentally using some 40 MP earlier. So it's still roughly the same balance. Whatever we picked up except for that one MP item is uh, stuff we've acquired by just murder. I'm going to ignore them for now. I'm going to see if we can steal anything else. 30 gems, nice. You take a close look at the painting, there's a note underneath. Valuable, do not touch. 
want to touch it so bad. There are books on how to make money. And another 30 gems. Oh no, chat, we're unbalancing the continent again. Oops, I picked up an unknown amount of money. I went to touch his painting again while the guy was there. What are you doing? Can't you read? What a miser. Let's get out of here, Eon. So I stole, like, at least 600 plus gems from him at this point. What did you say? Hmm? What was I saying? Oh, yes, about the mice. What? Is he, like, senile? Jill says, are you Eon? How Jill, one of the despots. Gandor told me about you. Anyway, Laramie has left us and we can't find her anywhere. Can you try to find her? You need to stay here and wait for the other despots. Eon, Laramie is gone. She disappeared and no one has seen her anywhere. All we have, all we have found is this dagger by one of the cracks. Oh, that was the scream earlier. Nice. Scepter glows. You attain the holy knife. Mysterious chant echoes through your mind. Learn to use the screw attack. Or screw cut, excuse me. Right, right down. Right down left. Okay. Do you think this is Laramie's? Yeah, it's her dagger for sure. Wonder where that crack could lead to. Let's check it out. How did it go? Did you find Laramie? Perhaps she fell into one of those cracks. Hmm. Well, I mean, I'm gonna equip the super dagger. Increases probability of finding items? Huh. Alright, chat. Okay. So I'm not getting any additional cutscenes trying to interact with the cracks. Hmm. Do we have to do something else? Well, we, they mentioned the lava caves earlier. I wonder if this guy will tell us about them. What? She may have fallen through one of the cracks. Underground are many caverns or lava caves. She may have fallen into one. We better find her quickly because she's in extreme danger down there. Laramie might be trapped in a lava cave. How awful. Let's find her, Eon. Is that good enough for Heirloom? Let's find out, chat. I'm going to just make an assumption it is. So we'll save aboard the ship, and then we'll see what we have to do next. Ah, uh, we can go in the lava cave. Oh, you can access the menu here? I didn't even try before. Go to advice. The depths of the lava caves are filled with poisonous gases. You will need a neutralizer. I'm assuming the sulfuric acid I bought is the neutralizer. We'll find out, I guess. Lava cave time, chat. Have you seen her? Yes. There's a report that the girl with blue hair is here. Oh no, not the wiggle flames. The cave is filled with poisonous gases. It's impossible to survive for very long in there. We can't keep going. Are you saying you don't want to risk your life? 
and you should wait at the ship until we need you for something else. Yes, sir. I did not count on them to help much. Well, look how evil he is now, Chad, in his, his little portrait. PH jokes, indeed. Those soldiers are pathetic. I never expected that Laramie would be inside here. That means he will be coming here soon. It's a good thing that I have the neutralizing solution. I'm liking the music to this game, I will state. Alright, uh, so only one way forward. Lava Cave West. Damn, Chad, I'm so smooth. Just dodging almost all the- Oh, that one's gonna be hard to dodge. Oh, nope. Juked him. Oh, 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 that, that one was too hard. Oh, I can't even hurt him with that. Wait, what? Um, what do I hit him with then? Axe. Oh, it's just out of range. That sucks. Man, Axe is so slow. I can't even combo. Can we please get a double hit with Axe? I would love that so much. Alright, okay, I can't... I did not mean to hit heal again. I think my controller is on the fritz. Do we have anything else that does damage other than Axe? I... I thought he was doing a normal attack. Okay. No, that still doesn't work. And that sucks. Because I really don't like how slow it is versus this enemy. Such a shame this doesn't work. Maybe this will work. Why does this dagger work but not the other one? Kind of sucks. Why give me an item that doesn't work? Okay, so that's the new attack that we have. Not bad. I wish that was actually unblockable, though. That kind of sucks that that isn't unblockable, I'm not gonna lie. If that was unblockable, that move would have been god tier. Because that, that has, like, no startup compared to our other stuff. Why is Axe so bad, chat? I... See, the problem is, like, I have to block because it's so slow that if he attacks first, I'll not hit. Do you see what I mean? So it's like the axe is just kind of naturally going to lose to this enemy, which kind of sucks. So if you're wondering why I'm getting hit by the unblockable, it's because I'm reacting to any animation at all. Oh, now you're just not blocking? Okay. And if I mash attack, that happens. Man, I got so injured because I was forced to use the axe. That sucks. Yeah, needless to say, definitely not a fan. I will use the special herb that we just acquired. So we went item neutral there. Yeah, why does Holy Knife not injure them at all? That really sucks. Because, <laughs> I mean, obviously our Flare Sword is not going to do damage to these things. So, like, why bother? It's kind of disappointing. It's all that for nothing. Well, I went item neutral, so I guess I can't be too mad. But let's not fight those. I feel like we need a better... We need a better weapon or something. Because Axe is too slow and our sword is too weak. If we could have used Flare Saber safely, that would have been kind of nice. Hmm, so the path to the east we didn't go... Oh, no. 
Hmm. Is it possible to skip this? Oh, I don't think it is. And the scary thing is it pushes me pretty far away. It's pretty easy to get struck by whiffing our attack. Oh. I actually attacked first there, but we're so slow with Axe, I still got hit. Case in point. So sad. Well, at least I got MP to heal, I guess. I keep thinking he's not attacking and it delays just enough. Brutal. Like that. Oh! Okay, that time I felt input red. I'm not gonna lie, chat, that felt 100% input red. I, I blocked for like a second and a half, he did nothing. The moment I let go of guard, he attacked me. That was cheap. That was really cheap, chat, I'm not gonna lie. Ancient mystery so detained. What did we get here? And then the magic spell of silence. Yeah, that, that that was some intense input reading. Did you like how he just waited the perfect amount of time to punish me for letting go of guard? Actually ridiculous. Yeah, he definitely input read me there. Uh, Enemy seal for 10 seconds. That's fine. I used one of the dryad herbs we got earlier. I'm going to save my MP for a little later. Hmm. Okay. So yeah, we want to avoid combat until we find a better weapon. Because the, the dagger does not work on them, which is like really stupid. I don't know why they would give us a weapon that literally doesn't injure the enemy. Do you know what I mean? Hmm. Was that a path down there? Couldn't tell because the... Oh, that is. Hmm. Ooh, okay, so I don't think I want to go this way. So I could have held off on the healing items. I just wasn't sure where a save was. So now that we know it's there, I'm not going to use any healing. So what's over here? See, that seems like progress. Oh, oh, I baited him that time. I, I purposely let go of guard and then re-guarded. What happened? Oh. So I have to I have to hit it the moment I hear the sound. So it's kind of unfortunate that it's either I have to react with... I mean, I guess I could always dodge versus guard, but then that happens. I don't know. I don't have, like, a good strategy versus these. These just seem really annoying to fight with our current weapons. Wow, I dodged sideways and that still hit me. How do you get- how do you get rid of that? Or do I have to just swap weapons? Holy, I'm being input red so hard right now, chat. Oh, now you let me dodge? Whatever. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's not that it's w immune to the weapon. Maybe just its backside can't be injured. Never mind. Maybe we do have a weapon for this then. I now understood what happened earlier. Okay, that's a bit more fair. Please stop walking. Please stop blocking. Wow, he hit me out of the special weapon animation. That sucks. It's weird because some of his attacks are pretty slow and then others are like instant. Like, 
the thrust move with this right hand is really fast. His set thought is like moderately fast. Then his swipe is really slow. Like that one hits like way too quickly. Please stop walking. Please stop walking. Please stop walking me every hit. Can, can you stop input reading me? <laughs> right chat, please, I beg of you. This is making this way harder than this should be. So this is an example of an enemy I don't think is super well done. It's just like really tedious. And it has attacks that you need to react to them different ways at the same time of the same visual or audio cue, which is not good because even if I dodge sideways, I could still get hit as Shadow Seen. It feels just kind of arbitrary if it hits me. It's not a good feeling. So hopefully we'll not have to fight a lot of these going forward. Wow, didn't even get an item for that. That blows. Uh, what's over here? Cave East. Definitely do not want to fight you. New item. Please be a weapon. Please be a weapon. I don't want a shield. Okay. Promising. Metal attained. What is it? Mercury? Oh, that sounds like a shield. Damn. Is this fire attacks? Okay. I'm assuming it'll come in handy at some point. Um... <laughs> right, Chad, I'm baiting them. I'm not doing these fights. I'm baiting them. Oh, what's this? Broken sword attained. Scepter glows. Why is there just an old man here? You attain Valhalla. You've now learned to use Windbuster. Left, right, down, attack. Are you an enemy or an NPC? Zeroist, long time no see. Oh, oh, okay. I guess that answers it. Corky, I'm so glad to see you. I've got lost in here while doing my research. Where's Laramie and Slazer? Well, it looks like Laramie may have fallen into the lava caves. That's terrible. These caves are filled with poisonous gases. If you read too much of it, you'll die for sure. Take this neutralizing solution and make sure Laramie gets some too. She is family. Okay. Oh yeah, I have things I could sell, technically. Oh, if they're weak to ice, they take more damage, and we're in the lava caves. Nice. Oh, much better. Welcome to my world now. Oh, he missed the third swing. That would have been a perfect. Come on, game. A defeated Rampage. How annoying. So sad, chat. So sad at whiffed. That would have given us a free item. Oh well. Sure, the biggest threat of the lava cave is the poisonous gas and not, you know, the lava. I mean, apparently it only, like, lightly singed the town. Uh, what's over here? Actually, I didn't look at what, over, what was over here. Oh, nothing? Nothing? Okay, good, good, good. I gotta make it past the spider or it's gonna... Walk forward. Oh, come on. Alright, this is like way better. Alright, that is way easier with the sword. I'm glad we don't have to use the axe anymore on that fight. Got another special herb, so I'm actually up in healing so far. 
So we got another full heal, by the way, for the future. Yeah, isn't that like night and day chat, how much easier that is? That axe was like not doing it for me at all. If axe gets like a double swing, I think it'll be a more of a usable weapon. But unless the enemy itself is very slow, it's not very fun to use at the moment. It was okay in the other place we were in, but man, against anything that actually punishes, brutal. That's a lot of enemies I just avoided. There's the soldier. Is there anything hidden over here I should know about? I'm going to disagree with that, but that's probably fine. I want to do the special attack, but I feel like he'll punish me if I miss. If I get hit, I'll go for it. Please stop blocking. I want the flawless victory more than I want to test the other item. We defeated greats. We attained 25 gems. Not really worth it. Um... Oh, you can't get into battle with them from behind. Today we learned. I'm gonna go for the special attack. Oh. That's not how I thought- That's not how I thought the arena was gonna form. Thanks, game. What? Well, his tail swipe counts as damage? Oh, come on. Why am I not getting the input? Isn't it right, left, down? Not left, right, down either. What? Wait, what? What, what was the input if that wasn't it? I'm confused. Is there a way to check the move input? Hmm. Actually, that's a good point. I don't know how to actually look that up. Hold on. I just realized there's nothing in the game that really teaches you to do it. Oh, it's left down right. My bad. Okay. We'll, we'll try it one more time. Okay, so we got gems for beating the other enemy, but like, it's not worth it. So let's just hit him a couple times. Let's knock him down and then go for it, I think. Well, that is why we don't like using cinematic moves. It's so slow, I literally can't use it. I think that basically speaks for itself. That is just way too hard to use appropriately. All right, we're gonna end the fight. Not worth. Not even remotely worth. Gross. It's such a shame, like, it, like if the moves didn't have like 30 years of lag, like, they actually would have been kind of fun to use. Like, imagine if you could do, like, a three-hit combo, and because you're hitting them, you could cancel it into a special. Like, how much better the combat would have been with, like, that small tweak. Also, I like that I went to dodge, but I got hit by the edge of the stage, so I didn't dodge. Stupid. Stupid edge of the stage. Okay, I'm gonna go back and heal again, annoyingly. Also, I'd like to point out, this is with the super armor equipped, I'm taking that much damage. So I feel like the damage in this area is a little wonky. Like, what would have happened if I didn't put the 40 defense armor on? Do I legit just die in one hit every time? That feels a little unfair, I think chat would agree. Even right now, I'm dying in like two hits with a 40 defense increase. Then again, Quinten is not really known for balancing things properly, so I guess I shouldn't be too surprised <laughs> that we're taking way too much damage, despite having the latest armor. Quirky says, Eon, looks like the Imperial Soldier is dead. Is he holding something? Hmm. 
Looks like he has a letter to his family. It's odd to think about the enemy having a family. He is really a human. Put the letter back in your pocket. I smell poisonous gases. Perhaps the soldier died from inhaling it. Feel a strange power overcome your body. You've gained a level. All right. Well, we now have five extra health. Ooh. I don't think I'm going to go back and heal for that. Kids are filled with poison and gases. We can't go further unless you have the neutralizing solution. I think I do. Somewhere in our mess of items. Use. Now we'll be protected. Let's go inside. Oh well. Magma Island A. Take that, humanizing enemy. We're just gonna leave his letter there forever. I'm not gonna take it. Oh, oh no. Um, can you not be here? Damn. Ooh. He's programmed not to block the third hit. That's good. Oh, unless I'm not supposed to pick up the Scepter Force as soon as I get it. I guess technically I could try later. I didn't really think about that until just now. Technically try to hold it for better items, but ugh. Hmm. So that goes to B. That seems like progress. What happens if I go over here? Is there a chest or something? D. Okay, D sounds out of order. Let's go here first. Come on. Scooch out of the way. What's the point of this area? Ah, there's an item. Gold piece attained. Thank you, Kirk, for resubscribing. Did, did this whole place just have a treasure chest singular? Wow. Wow, oh wow, this place sucked. Well, I'm glad we avoided most of the combat. I don't know if I can avoid this, though. Unless he could go, like, really far out of bounds. Oh, no, he... He rotated too slowly, so we got by him. I love how a majority of the game has been avoiding the combat. I do like the combat on some of them, but... It's, it's not worth it worth it. It's fun, but it's like, it's also, we don't need it to advance, so I will avoid it where possible. When you avoid combat, it's like a walking simulator, pretty much. Gotta dodge the baddie. Oh, oh there we go. Sque squeeze right through, chat. How? Oh, how? He wasn't even looking at me. No, that's not fair. Thanks, game. Cool. I'm glad he's programmed not to block that, because as I said before, against the axe, that was horrendous. Is there... There's nothing over here. Oh, come on, game. That's just rude. That's just rude. There's nothing even over there to do. Oh, well. Oh, chest. Oh, hold on, hold on. Are you gonna be a mimic? Are you gonna be a mimic? Oh, we were overdue. We were overdue, Chad. Of course it is. Of course it's a mimic. Why have anything fun? 
I knew it, chat. I, I was like, I was like, wait a minute. We already got a shield and an armor. I was doing the math, chat. The math was adding up. It was mimic. It was mimic time. That does so much damage. Holy. All right. I can I swap out of the sword? The sword is slightly too slow for this fight. Please stop blocking. <sighs> right, chat. One thing the game really could have benefited from, all of those special moves should have guard broke. I'll be real with you. Every single one of them should have guard broke. That is the purple swirl, at least. To justify their long animations. So I definitely feel like there should have been more counterplay here. I kind of liked early on when we were fighting the shield people. And you could get rid of their shield. You should have been able to guard break in this game. Versus them having infinite guard. That also would have helped a lot. Rare potion attained. Ooh. 400 MP restore. I think the dagger paid off for itself just then, chat. 400 MP is a lot of healing. Literally 10 healing spells, potentially. That is a lot of HP we just got. Oh, there's Laramie. Look, it's Laramie. You finally come. Red-haired boy, what brings you here? Aren't you? It doesn't matter who I... Or, or it doesn't matter to you who I am. I seem to enjoy facing danger. Do you really think you're ready for me? I mean, probably. If you really want to die, I can easily grant you that wish. How about it? Show me what you're made of. Hmm? A magic barrier? Huh. What a shame. You got lucky. The next time you'll be mine. You better prepare yourself for a real battle. Are you all right? There are many Imperial soldiers around here. It better scrub, pretty much. Zeroist, Laramie's in trouble. Laramie, she's been overcome by the fumes. Quick, give her the neutralizing solution. What? It seems like she already has some of the solution. Did you give it to her? No, I haven't. That is peculiar. Give her some more in case she hasn't had enough. Uh-oh, Chad. Brainwashing not totally working. Yeah, I didn't have a chance to give it to her. And who was it? It looked like... No. Better get out of here quickly because that solution will wear off. Come and talk to me later. Well, I was hidden behind the bookshelf at Gainz... Gainz's way station. Well, now you're just... Well, no wonder why the volcano went off so easily. He's, he's disturbing the balance, chat. All right. First, I will take care of Laramie. Afterwards, I'll stop by your lab. Houses of Oracle. Back at the mayor's house. Laramie's life was saved by a neutralizing solution formulated by Zeroist. Thank goodness. We're lucky to have found her. I'm so relieved. Thank you. Not really the one who rescued her. Without Zeroist, we'd probably both be dead. 
It's all my fault. I should have stopped her. Really need to become more assertive. Hey. Is Larry me all right? She should be just fine, but she'll need a lot of rest. Phew, I'm glad. Even though she could be a, be a... Oh, I can't talk. Even though she could get a bit cranky, she's like family. You think you could keep an eye on her? I'm gonna go find Zeroist and ask him to repair the good. Yes, I'll stay here. Thank you, Arcia. Wait a minute. What is it? I saw Zeroist down in the lava cave. Today's a secret lab behind the Gainz's bookshelf. Mm, all right, I'll check it out. Thank you, Eon. I think I better go find Zeroist. Oh, wrong person speaking. I better go find Zeroist. Yeah, you owe that man your life. I'll stay here and take care of Laramie. Just start by checking the bookshelf. So yeah, chat, not... Not really impressed with the weapon special, sadly. And again, I think the big downside is that it's just, like, too powerful. Or, not too powerful. It's that it's... Their guard is too powerful. If we, if it could have guard broken or had guaranteed unblockables, it would have been nice. Hmm... You know what, Chan? I want to try something. I think we've been ignoring a major mechanic of the game, and now I'm curious about something if we're allowed to use the heirloom right now. Oh good, you found that young girl. Thanks for your hospitality. Oh yes, I think you owe me some money for that. What, you greedy Scrooge? This should cover it. There it takes a gold piece from you. Nice. Hope she gets better soon. You gotta stay here a good long time. Hope Laramie will recover soon. I think we better go talk to Zeroist. Come on. Wow, we actually took our money. I mean, I have a bunch of these I'm not using. I don't think it matters. I'm assuming there's another solution if I didn't have the gold pieces. Probably something like I forgot to get an item earlier or something. The game is punishing me. Dan, I want to test a theory real quick before we go further. Yeah, let's go to Erlen. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we can't skip. Oh, we can skip the cutscene. Oh, how thoughtful of them. I mean, it still unfortunately loads like this, but we did skip it technically. Uh, if I go back to the shrine, I'm gonna test something. Now that we are like ultra powerful, I think I've been ignoring a game mechanic, and I just want to confirm it before we go further. Remember, in the beginning of the game, they were saying something about like. Scepter begins to glow. Scepter has restored the sacred stone. What? Oh, the the stone on the right. Oh. Uh oops. <laughs> right, chat? Apparently there was something I could have unlocked this whole time, question mark. Okay. Well, now. When the stairway appeared, the sacred stone made by the scepter vanished. Cool. I mean, I was just gonna check something out with easy enemies. Oh, and this just leads to the. This is fine. Well, up until he hit me. Now it's no longer fine. So I'm curious about something. 
We have to go a certain amount of time without, uh... Oh, I got MP. Sorry if this looks like grinding. I do want to test something. Uh... Can't do... Could jump down the hole. This is fine. I basically just need to one-shot them. I think that should work. Memorize Scepter Force. Okay, so there is a mechanic. So I think the, the goal is the longer I can get a no hit streak, the better off I am. And I might be able to get stronger items. So I'm just going to confirm it real quick with this guy's corpse. So I'm changing what enemy I'm fighting, because it also mentioned that you need to fight a variety. White Crystal Attained. So I'm wondering if... If I fight enough of these enemies, if I could get something new. So this is all I'm looking to verify here. Hmm. It's still blue, though. So we're just gonna check a couple things, and then if nothing, if nothing changes, maybe I'm wrong, but I would have thought that they would have leveled up. Oh, he hit me. Come on. Man, sword is just slightly too slow. It's so close to being good, though. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Now I don't think I'll get it. Because that happened. Another white crystal attained. Not what I'm looking for, though. Um... So yeah, I think I have to literally just go kind of flawless victory on them repeatedly. And I've already gotten hit twice, so never mind. I don't think I don't think I'm good enough to test what I'm looking to do. It did seem like something was happening with the Scepter Force. So maybe it's kind of like one of those things where it will slowly go through like rainbow colors or something. Hmm. So unfortunate. So if I get hit at all, that happens. I guess what I could do to try to guarantee it is I could just spend a lot of MP to just kill things to get the guaranteed cheese kill. Because there are enemies that are like just slightly annoyingly fast enough to interrupt. Like this green enemy is free. Slasher is mostly free. The other enemy is kind of a problem. For like hitless. They're not hard, but it's like for hitless. So clearly, like something happens there. I just want to see what the next step is. But we'll see what happens. I just want to confirm another color and then we'll move on. I don't think I'm going to grind to see what all the colors are. Since I'm not interested in that kind of gameplay. But I at least want to see a mechanic just to show it off. Oh, you almost hit me. Nice. Ah, uh, so now it turned red. Okay. So let's see what a red one gives. Only 35 gems. Mm. Doesn't really seem worth it. So I'm assuming you basically just want to build it all the way up to whatever the max is. Not really sure what the colors would be, since it's not really like it doesn't seem Roy G Biv kind of thing. At least it's in the wrong order if it is. So who knows? Okay, so maybe the intent is if you're really, really, really solid at the combat in this game, you're able to basically build up a super item for yourself at the end of a dungeon. Which is kind of interesting. But if there's a super item unlocked for, like, doing this in every dungeon, I don't think I'm gonna get it. i am be real with you.
Yeah, it's, it's interesting. Yeah, this enemy is a problem. Did you- did you see him? Did you see him reacting to my step? I saw that BS. Yeah, I'm on to you. No. I'll memorize it for now. Alright, so let's just try exiting. That's all I wanted to verify, by the way, Chan. We'll kill you. I mean, these enemies seem easy enough that if I really want to do it, I could. It went to yellow. No thanks. So at least we're, we're witnessing that there's different colors. Oh, I think I went the wrong way. My bad, chat. I don't trust you. I'm waiting for you to attack. <laughs> right, chat? I'm not taking a risk here. Goodbye. White crystal attained, more MP acquired. White crystal's healing, right? Yeah, that's unfortunate. I actually don't want healing items. I want a MP restore. We're getting a little MP by doing these fights, so in a way I am kind of grinding, unfortunately. But I just want to leave, I think, at this point. Although... Can you? It... Oh, can you not enter the menu while moving? Oh, why? I have to stand still the menu. I never noticed that before. Most of the time, it's not usually an issue. Weird. You defeated High Guardian. Green. Actually, you know what? If every other kill levels it... You know what? I changed my mind. If every other kill levels it... Let's just keep going, then. Yeah, that, that's not too bad, then. Let, let's see where it ends. I was so worried when he dodged I was about to take damage. Yeah, that's not too bad then. I was worried we have to get like three plus kills to level it. Oh no, it is kind of weird. Never mind. Never mind. Disregard. Oh, hello. But at least we saw more colors. I was thinking it was just alternating when we got it, but no, it seems like we do need multiple kills. It's unfortunate. At least we got easy kills there. Please give me a little more MP for later. I'd appreciate it. We're up to purple. Hmm. Well, if it's two kills, I don't know, Chad. Two kills is not that bad with how fast combat is. I can't save, though. So that'll ruin it. I think from what the game told me. Um... I'm going to try to look it up on my phone real quick before we go further. The pardon for the brief pause. Mm -hmm. Oh, apparently there's only two more colors. Okay, well, we might as well just go for two more colors. So apparently after this is rainbow and dark. So the order is blue, red, yellow, green, purple, orange, rainbow, dark. I'm really sure why rainbow dark, but that's fine. I don't know why dark is at the end. We might as well see what it is then. But I can't get hit or else it resets. Which really sucks. The pressure is on. To not drop. So I'm killing a variety of enemies to help it reset. Oh, we're at rainbow already. 
We just need, like, one more fight, then. Potentially. We are alternating enemies, so this is not too bad. This is the enemy I'm most worried about being hit by. Because he could just do nonsense. But fortunately, he died pretty quickly. The dark power of the Scepter Force is released. 200 gems. Wow, that was super not worth it. <laughs> right, chat? Wow. Chat, let's have a round of applause. I can buy a single item with that, where it could have just given me an item. Wow, how lame. Wow. Even when you're showcasing skill at the game, there's no reward. <laughs> That's just actually sad. <laughs> See that? Like, I am slowly getting more comfortable with the combat, but it's like, man... Not worth it. Oh well. I got to show off a game mechanic, I guess. Back to Volkos. Try to skip the cutscene here. On the plus side, we regained the MP I accidentally wasted earlier, and we happen to get more healing items, which is really not needed. But I guess we're showcasing that you could go back and get healing pretty easily if you needed it. Let's proceed. So there we go. At least we'll acknowledge that mechanic exists. I'm not sure if there's any other rare items. I didn't really look up anything other than the color order. Uh, but if it's going to be that annoying to do, I don't think I care. I'll <laughs> be real with you. Looks like there may be something hidden here. Do you want to investigate? Yes. Found the entrance to a hidden basement. Yeah. Secrete basement. Why'd they put an E at the end? Do you think this could be Zeroist's research lab? Nobody's here. Zeroist probably went out to do some research. Anyway, it looks like this could be his place. Maybe we could find something that will give us the clue to where he might have gone. Look closely at the shelves, there's many peculiar bottles and vials. It's a bougie secret base, like when you go to a shop with the PvE. Nice. Yeah. I found a black potion. What's a black potion? Or did we just not grab it? Don't get my hopes up, game. Found another black potion. I see the obvious book we have to go to. Secret Lab is sadly lacking in items. I guess we'll read his diary. There's a research notes on the desk. Do you pick them up? Looks like Zeroist's research notes. Sure would be a shame if we destroyed his life research, chat. There are three sections. The ultimate life form, Stalagmite Castle, Cell Destruction. I'm sorry, what? That that is a that is a combination of sections. <laughs> You're like, oh, what are you doing today? Oh, don't worry, I'm just updating the ultimate life form section of my research notes. Do you read them? Of course we do. Which section do you reach, read from? Of course, the ultimate life form. Life formation mediated by magic powers. Has human features as well as supernatural strength. Can only be destroyed by... Here the page is torn. Dun dun dun. Let's read about cell destruction. This cell is the basis of life. The mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Oh wait, wrong, wrong thing. If you penetrate the weak side of the cell, you could get inside of the life form and manipulate it. For objects which have stronger cell wall structures, you may need a more powerful acid. Okay, so that's why I bought the acid earlier. It wasn't for the other place, it's for this place. Got it. Slag my castle. This place has been abandoned, perfect for my research work. Planning to document all that has been found about the ultimate life form. The page ends here. According to the notes, it sounds like Zeroist could be at the Slag my castle. I know where it is. Come on, let's go find him.
Well, Chad, fortunately, I know they mean the grounded formations because it had the G. Stalagmite. So it's a grounded castle versus being on the ceiling of something. Corky says, hmm. Meanwhile, before we reach Stalagmite Castle. So, do you mind if I ask you a personal question? Then we just throw acid in his face. <laughs> Tell me the truth. Who do you like better? Arcea or Laramie? You better decide before you lose them both. This isn't the right time to discuss this. And it's none of your business. Uh-oh, chat. We're refusing to pick one. That never ends well. Hey, look! We finally arrived! There you go, chat. Stalagomite Castle. Sure, a strange-looking castle. You'll notice that everything is sideways. Not you noticed, it's you'll notice. Oops, sideways we go. What are you talking about, Quirky? This castle has been cursed with a rather unique gravitational force. Designed to confuse unwelcome intruders. I see. So what do we do? We should proceed with extreme caution. This adventure is making me hungry. Next time I find Venom... Tawa fruit. I'll be sure to give you some. Oh yeah, we ha we literally have like five in our inventory and I've never given it to Corky. That is really funny, actually. <laughs> You're so great. Let's check this out. Okay. So we're going sideways into here. Stalag Stalagomite Castle, floor one. Oh. Oh, it, ac it actually confused me there. Wait. What were we walking on in that place? I got confused. Oh! Well, that's weird. Hmm. Do I want to save? You know what? Let's not save. Let's not worry about it. Hmm. There's a door I could stand on. Is Breeze coming through the doorway? Maybe I could jump down safely. Do you jump down? Let's not do that yet. Let's save. Okay, there's a save point here. I had a feeling there's probably one early on. Kirk says, it's better with destroying the cell with acid rather than the sun. Oh, well, let's burn them. Hmm. Um, okay, fine. You have my curiosity. What happens if we jump? Be funny, we just fall off the continent and die. Oh, I can't willingly walk off. Okay. Or can I? Nope. I'm just looking for items, mostly. Okay, I can't go under the column for some reason. Do anything there. Hmm. Hmm. What? What? <laughs> Did you see that invisible wall? Excuse me. What? 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 <laughs> okay. Okay, chat. Come on. <laughs> what is this? Come on, where did they put this wall that I'm stuck on this? How? I'm honestly confused. That is, that is some invisible wall there, chat. Holy. So there's nothing to do here. That's kind of lame. Um, do both of these areas go to the same place? Hmm. Find an empty socket? Okay. Oh boy. Find a valve handle? Sure, we'll turn it. Scepter glows. Scepter's 
memorize the valve handle. Okay. Valve handle spins since vapors are released. What does this do? I don't, I don't understand how to interact with that, but sure. Um, I guess I put the valve handle here that we just got. Wonder what will happen if I turn it. Um, I don't think we should do that with the valve handle. It seems like a bad idea. Sounds like something has moved in the other room. Uh, okay. I guess I'm solving puzzles? Question mark? I don't know what my intent is so far, but I, I guess we're making progress? Question mark? Hmm. Oh, there's a chest right here and I didn't see it before. Ancient Mystery Stone attained. Serious chant echoes in your mind, you've learned the magic spell of lightning. Okay. Hmm. Well, I'm glad I, I checked that out. <laughs> Thank you for clipping the wall. Is there something I could do? Like... I mean, other than me missing- oh, look at that, we get s oops. <laughs> I think that might be an emulation issue versus the game issue. Um, hmm. That invincible wall, though, that's 100% in the game. Eon, I'm not so sure about this. Ah! Whoa! Whoa! Broken Chamber Passage 2. That was awful. I think I'm gonna be sick. Whew, I feel better now. Monster says, Grr. Yeah, it's some monsters in here. Grr, grr. Okay. Ooh, you outsped dagger? Whoa, an enemy outspeeding dagger is a scary thing, chat. That's not good. Oh, I tried dodging. I think I gotta stop double tapping. I think I gotta use the dash button. I think literally the double tap made me too slow to dodge it. Yeah, like that's much faster to do. Much faster. Oh, we're kind of a slugfest here. Huh, I couldn't block right away after the dodge? That kind of sucks. If I had double tapped that, I would not have reacted in time. Oh, I, th I wasn't sure if the third hit would hit and then I didn't block. That was a mistake. What is he doing? Uh, that attack is at least pretty easy to punish. I want to see that attack more often. It's very slow. Compared to everything else that enemy does. You find a note by the monster. You attain the note. Decide to go ahead and read it. Soldier's note. Today I will be transformed by Zeroist into some sort of ultimate life being. Wish that I could see my daughter once more. While I'm still my old self, I want to apologize. Page two. Whoever finds this, please let my daughter know I always loved her. Her name is Irina, and she lives in the town of Tolku. Well, I, I guess she was important. <laughs> we were like, hey, we know daddy's gone. We murdered him. But don't worry, he was a total, total horrible monster, and he suffered till the end. <laughs> right, chat? Just, just words of comfort we can give to Irina here. Afraid I will never be able to tell her myself. Guess I should take this note to the girl in the town of Tolku. You're overcome by a mysterious power. You gained a level. Nice. 
So we're now at, we went from 65 health at the beginning of the playthrough, or the session, to 75. So our, our LP is technically increasing. So we gained about 70 total health, which isn't bad. Oh, that's just rude. That is actually just rude. I don't want to get into a lot of fights with these guys. These guys look like a problem for me. Oh, I thought he was going to do the hop attack. He actually threw me off there. That's too slow. It's interesting he does have a lot of attacks to punish. I don't think he input reads as hard as the other characters do. So it's a mostly fair fight. He reads a couple of my attacks, but not like all of them. Like there he read my attack for sure. Yeah, leveling is milestone only. Fighting here doesn't do anything other than waste resources. Also, the camera spinning there made it a little disorienting where to dodge, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I just wish his third hit actually tracked, like, at all. I think that would, all would also make daggers so much better. Like, it's such a linear strike that when it misses, it's terrible. Oh, that was like the worst time to let go of guard. That was my fault. I don't know why I double tapped. I gotta remove that habit. It's definitely too slow. ADMP acquired. Well, I think what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna use one of the white crystals I got earlier. Just to serve... You've got to be kidding me. I really don't want to keep fighting here if I can avoid it. Man, that third swing is so bad. I got to remember that double strike with the knife is a default attack. It's not me actually double pressing that. So I keep... Oh, I did the bad thing. I got to break that habit. I got to dodge with the dodge button. Almost saw shit. Yeah, lots of force encounters here. I'm not a fan of. I don't mind it like every once in a while, but like two back to back after an already mandatory fight is very rude. Do you see what I mean about, like, the third dagger slice just, like, whiffing randomly? Just because, like, if you're not perfectly lined up, he'll just whiff. Which is really awkward, because his other slashes are so good, comparatively. Like, there. There's a perfect example. That's how I knew I was lined up. Stupid enemy. Get out of here. Well, if we happen to get more MP, special herb acquired, hmm. So I have a full heal now. I really need it. Prefer not to use it though. So I guess we just fight our way back up to the top. Throne room, throne chamber passage three. So I'm assuming if I ever go on the floor down there, the Marauders are just going to bully me. So I'd like to avoid that if I can. Because I doubt the game will force a fight up here. This area feels too small. Okay. Hmm. Might have to... Well, I'm gonna use the healing magic here. Just in case. Alright, let's jump down a floor. Down chamber number four. <sighs> Unfortunately.
unfortunate. Wow, he punished me on the landing? That sucks. I don't remember, just single, single tab. Despite it being a double strike, just single tab. <laughs> Attention chat. They're trying to pay attention to his patterns. I gotta be careful because when he lands, he seems to attack basically instantly. Just what attack he uses depends on whether or not I can punish it. Looks like I got hit there. Fortunately, we are getting a lot of MP. So if I do need a lot of healing in a boss battle coming up, I'm feeling mostly okay. Yeah, do you see him like instantly attacking? Not all the time. There he started attacking again instantly. But I was ready. Did not mean to press that a second time. That was unfortunate. Damn. That time I meant to. This time I don't. There we go. If he gives MP, this is worth it. If he gives anything less, probably not worth it. Not worth it. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use a dry derb. Just, just for safety. You know what, I'm gonna go right here. Yeah, so I just kind of did an unnecessary fight. That sucks. Now we're in Throne Chamber. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> I love how his name is now Evil Zeroes. Oh. <laughs> Just a few more adjustments, and this will be complete. The ultimate life form will rule the world. Oh, it seems that we have visitors. Hey, Zeroes. From your notes, we thought you would, we would find you in here. Oh, that's a face. <laughs> yes, I am the ingenious scholar of magic. What brings you to my domain? Are you interested in becoming subject matter for my research experiments? Good. I was short on bone and intestine. Your flesh should melt easily with this special solution. Zeroes, what in the world are you talking about? He's blue. Why do you think this is the real him? <laughs> right, chat? <laughs> like, he doesn't even look the same. He doesn't even look right. Stay calm. I'm sure it will be painless. He's talking crazy. Bump, 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 chat. I can feel your heartbeat. My dear Hergazad will appreciate this so much. You're his two favorite flavors, human flesh and chicken. Bye. Tyrwis is acting strangely. He looks funny too. Look, here's a vial containing some potion. Maybe this is the solution used for the cell destruction described in the notes. Corky reads, Dissolvent. We should hang on to it. 
You've attained a vital solution. Okay. Well, that was certainly a thing that we just experienced. I think we can all agree. It was definitely an event that has occurred. Um... Wow, all that just to go back to the first floor. Kinda sucks. Hey, Yun, take a look at this hole! Look at those tracks! What kind of creature could have made them? What tracks? Oh, okay. At least Eon. <laughs> Even Eon said it. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I was like, you feeling okay there, Quirky? What tracks? I can't see anything. This is the spirit beast. I have supernatural vision. Anyway, let's stay away from that guy. Doesn't seem to be the same zero as I knew. Yeah, looks much different than what we, s than when we saw him inside the lava cave. I'm still worried about Laramie. Me too. Let's go back into town. Cool story. So let's go heal. There seems to be some kind of, like, statue or something over there. We're not going to worry about that right now. So we still have an abundance of healing items. A plethora of choices. Let's return to entrance. Anyway, time to give uh, Irina the note that we found earlier. But, like, we saved you, but everybody you know is dead. Um. Oh, do I literally? I have to go to the barrier. I can't just go straight to the town. Oh, time to go back, I guess. To the poorly spelled barrier, pretty much. So, what was the point of that dungeon exactly? <laughs> right, chat? We're like, hey, that's not the real him, and we just left. <laughs> Is this that what happened? Oh, time to tell you about about father. Ian says, Irina, I have a note from you, for you from your father. My father! My father abandoned us and disappeared somewhere. I don't want this note. But I think you should read it. I've been thinking of you all the time. But we were all alone for a long time. Where is your mother? She passed away. The broken heart. Why doesn't he just come and see me if he misses me? I'm sorry. But you can't see him anymore. <laughs> we kind of murdered him. Why not? Your father was transformed into a monster. What? Oh no! I don't want to talk to you anymore. Go away! Irina. She shakes her head at us. Uh, so he just thanks us for saving the townspeople. I wasn't at full health. One of these things heals me. But oh, we already are. So we have an okay amount of MP. 280. I could spam a lot of fireball if we really need to later in the game. Right, chat? That's, that's a decent amount of uh, heal. Definitely the highest MP total we've had so far. Up to a little bit, we went back to the beginning area, since it gives generous amounts of MP. Do we just go back to the... Julius... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Did you... Did you see how they spelled Zeroist's basement? Let's go back to that, in case you missed it. J-I-L-L-U-O-U-S's basement. What? <laughs> What? Eon? I don't know where I am anymore. Laramie. Eon, where have you been? Been what? I've been here watching over Laramie. <laughs> this one is special. It is very special. I'm fine. I really wasn't hurt at all. Besides, who wants to worry about me anyway? When I came here earlier, this place was empty. I found Zero was at Stalagma Castle, but he looked very peculiar. How can you expect me to believe this nonsense? Zero was here the entire time. 
Zerous. How can I be here? Thank you for saving Laramie. She's a good child. Couldn't have done anything if it wasn't for your solution. Zero helped us when we were in great danger, Laramie. Without him, I would never have rescued you. But Zeroes, there's just one question. How could you be at the castle and at the lava cave at the same time? That was my evil habits to lying my castle. <laughs> I was the one in the lava cave. Not his evil half chat. What are you trying to say? He's as evil as I am good. It's very hard to explain. Are you cloning yourself, Zeroes? There are two versions of Zeroes. You must be joking. I know it is difficult to believe, but it is true. Am I dreaming? This must be a dream. It doesn't make sense. Maybe this is all a dream. Hmm, I hope so. Laramie, rest a while now. Okay, I'll do that. Sweet, yet often difficult. She was always this way. I'm glad you got the vial because we're going to need it. By the way, have you looked through my research notes? How did you know I had the vial? I will explain later. Could you give me the vial now? I need to make my acid solution. Maybe the only way we could destroy my other half. Okay. Will you hand me the vial? Sure. The sulfur, I could complete the special acid solution. But Zeroes, how did you know I had the vial? When you met the other Zeroes at the castle, I saw it. We share the same senses. It is a tricky situation. Oh, cool. If we melt the other guy, is Zeroes going to melt? How is that possible? It is possible for a person to be split into two opposites. There is a fight between good and evil within us all. We all try to be good, but it's a balancing act, like a seesaw. <laughs> I was gonna say, except for chat, they went pure evil. Take that, seesaw. But what if the influence of evil is too great? See, they're asking about chat again. It depends. Extreme levels of good and evil cannot coexist in one person's body. Oh, he clearly has not met, met Twitch chat. Sometimes the mind must be split into two halves. One good and one evil. <laughs> I was gonna say, you cut the good side of the seesaw off and just use it to weigh down the evil side. <laughs> and that explains me. So the person I saw at the castle is the evil Zeroes? Yes. He's taken many victims for his abominable experiments. I'm here in hiding from the Imperial Army soldiers. My evil half has turned them into terrible monsters. I'm sure you fought some. I, I see. Yes. He cruelly robs them of their humanity. He's trying to create the ultimate life form. We must stop him. If he succeeds, no one will be spared. Well, what can we do? First, I have to create an acid solution which can dissolve the cell wall. I just need one more chemical to complete the formula. Can you find some sulfur? Don't I have it already? This is the sulfur I need. Let's make the solution. It will take some time. You will need to go into town for a while. Uh. Bye. <laughs> right, chat? Um, I guess I could go back here. I'm assuming I just have to go to the mayor's house or something to progress the plot. So now that I've sold the sulfur, do you get a new item here? Let's see, or is he still gonna sell it to us? Oh! Ancient Mystery Stone holds magic. Ooh, it costs a thousand? I'm still gonna do it. 
the sleeve. Scepter glows. Serious chant echoes through your mind. You've learned the spell of power plus. Interesting. 20 seconds increased damage. Hmm, I'll think about it. But we have a lot of spells, at least. We're getting a nice variety. Oh, I should check to see if his inventory changes again. Now that I bought the other thing. Ah, it became fresh herb. Fair. I didn't want to risk trying to buy something twice and having to go through all those cutscenes again, but I was curious if we could have double bought the magic. Guys, they're all here. Fucking Sierra was split himself into two. At least we could tell which is which. Stop looking at me. I feel just fine. You think I'm a weakling. Laramie likes to act tough a lot. What did you say? Oh, nothing about you. Phew. I think she should be just fine. Now we have to hope the acid solution will work. Let's go back and check if it, to see if it's been completed. Oh. Alright, uh, well. No special cutscene. I guess we'll just go back. Right, chat? Oop. Body blocked. Why do I have a feeling the solution is to just kill this old man and save ourselves a headache later? <laughs> right, chat? We'll see how connected they are. We just off them right there. You finally completed making the acid solution, which could destroy the cell wall. Use this on the weak portion of the cell wall in the castle. It will dissolve it. I don't remember seeing a cell wall, but I guess we'll find it. You can feel the presence of the ultimate life form. But I cannot divine how powerful it has become. Hopefully it is not completely transformed yet. There's no telling what my evil carnation plans to do. Eon, you should go to the castle, but use extreme caution. Meanwhile, we'll try to find a way to stop the life form. I will say, chat, we're, we're having what we like to call... It's the new, the new term of 2024. Plot happenings. There is just a whole bunch of nonsense happening. I don't know what this has to do with the wise man at this point or him helping us repair the ship. We're, we've gone on some weird tangent about clones and the ultimate life form. We're like, okay. <laughs> right, chat? Like, okay. I, mean, I, I guess we'll keep going. Well, I found the castle. So now there's a save basically right before I need to do anything. Let's go ahead and use that save. Avoid the door. Make a save. Assuming I just go through here. Muscle layer. Oh. Well, that took a turn. <laughs> right, chat? Oh. Oh, I guess the hole wasn't there before. Hmm. Uh. Oh. Hey, you're in Tales of Destiny. We need more damage. Nice. 
sword seems generally effective here. We defeated Roper. I think that's what it was called also in Tales of Destiny. Oh, that's... Oh, jeez. Oh, man. This is going to be hard to dodge battles, chat. Nice dodge. <sighs> now we're going full quintet. Oh, I missed. That's unfortunate. Stop that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can you imagine if I wasn't using sword? What would I even do? What a bait. What is this? Stop that. <laughs> Time waster. Get out of here. <laughs> and now I feel like I'm getting trolled. Reminded of Doom with the flesh walls. Oh man. Please hope I don't bump into more things. So we found nothing so far here. I tried. So at least a double strike seems strong enough to basically end them. It's not the worst thing in the world. Yeah, like that one went pretty smoothly. I think Jack can agree. We're gonna take the item in case it offers it. I don't think I'm gonna get through this dungeon unscathed. Got another healing item. Oh my gosh, this is so mean. Okay. Another flawless victory, at least. Defeated Slag. That's not a good name for a monster. 25 gems, not worth. Oh my gosh. Unfortunate. Ooh, it attacked twice there. Wasn't expecting that. I'm hoping to kind of like do what they call media attacks in fighting games that my attack is just lingering long enough to hit them as a punish. It's what kind of what I'm going for, but I don't have like a super solid media attack. Feels like a door should have been here. Hmm. Oh well. Like there, I think the third strike might have been able to hit if I timed it a little better. So we're getting a mix of good fights and okay-ish fights. I'm still gonna open the scepter. Gem total is not worth it. So... Hmm... Oh, is there really nothing I can interact with? Like, I'm touching the walls in case it's like the mines or something. I'm mashing the X button chat. You have no idea. Just to ho hopefully find an exit is what I was about to say. Because otherwise I don't see where we have to go. Presumably we throw the solution to break through the muscle wall and that's why we got it earlier. Plus side, these enemies are not hard. They're definitely way easier than the spider. They're like, it's like night and day how much easier this enemy is compared to the spider. The spider is horrendous. They sort of read inputs, but not as hard as the spider. Gems is not worth it. Is there really nothing here? Wow. Okay. Nothing in here, nothing down here. Huh. I have to go, like, in here or something? 
Wow. Okay, chat. I will say... Does this wall look any different than any of the other walls I pass? Wow. Okay. Well, that was kind of BS. When you use the acid solution, the cells begin to dissolve. Passage to the ultimate life form has been opened. Wow. Cool level design. Respiratory layers there. Uh, I don't think I'm going to use healing magic. I'm just thinking. Hmm. Nothing to do here. What is this? It looks like mucus. It must be the mucus membrane. Okay. Yes, we can't go any further than this. What should we do? It's a bad doom map to not mark secrets, exactly. What? Alright, so presumably we have to kill these things. Or else why would it focus on them so hard? Yuck, what are those things? Kill them so we can get out of here. Okay, the game made it very unsettled then. Well. I was worried I didn't hold block long enough, I'm not gonna lie. There we go. You know what, if I get the choice of the blue scepter, I'm gonna choose not to open it. I don't really care what the reward is in general. If I get hit, it doesn't really matter. Nothing of importance will be lost. Shame these things don't drop MP or anything else useful. Sure, I'll open up the Red Scepter. Oh boy, I got 10 more gems than I normally would have. What a, what a deal. Yeah, I will say, it's like cool in concept, but man, the rewards are so bad. Like, as a reminder, chat, it costs like at minimum 100 to get like the lowest end healing item that was available at the store. So I would have to get, like, literally, like, five flawless victories to afford one basic heal from the shop we were just at. So the, the money scaling is pretty bad in this game. Does not make sense. And also, if you noticed, we saved up to red, but the jump in gems from blue to red, it was literally better just to take double blue than to take a single red. So yeah, they definitely need to rethink the reward system. As you touch the mucus, it slides away. You say so. Way to go! Way to go! Hmm. Oh. Fortunate. So, I mean, I guess it's a good sign, like, if I don't find this enemy hard, it means, you know, I'm getting a little more used to the controls, trying to bait enemy attacks. I'm really sad not a single one of these gives us MP on death. Do you know what I mean? Oh, look, there's a hole. Well, it seems very deep. It must lead to the intestines of the ultimate life form. If you grasp the sides of the hole, you could go down safely. Do you go down? Uh... Sure. Internal organ layer. Mm -hmm. 
Can I really not? Oh, oh, I thought I got past it. Yeah, so the sword is pretty good. Like, we're still using it a dungeon later, which is a good sign. You know what? I'm just gonna choose not to open it. I just don't care. Um, nope. Didn't get hit by that, at least. Oh, there's another hole. Uh, before we do that, let's just make sure there's no chests. I go over here, see if it was worth coming over here. So far, no. Oh no, I lost the scepter reward. Oh no, 20 gems. Don't need like five more of those for it to be worth it. Oh, it rude. Very rude spawns, I would just like to state very rude. Please just stay in a corner. There we go. So sword is proving its worth so far this session. I opened it by accident. Wow, no treasure chests. Wow, big fail. Dungeon blows. Anyway, let's go this way. Go deeper. <laughs> what fools they are to come into my lair. She'll be food for my dear Hergazard. My magic barrier. They won't even be able to touch him. And he will have them for dinner. <laughs> Digestive organ layer. Okay. It's beating like a heartbeat, but we're in the intestines. I'm assuming. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. What is this weird graphic effect on the floor? That is really disorienting. I'm gonna hold block. Oh, I I hate it. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. That is so disorienting trying to determine how far you are from an enemy. Holy. I think we just wait. Yeah, I was like, I got really confused for a second and then I realized what was happening. Holy. Alright, so presumably we're gonna get bailed out of this. Do I actually have to strike it to initiate it though? Oh my gosh! Oh my god, what is going on? <laughs> look, look at how close he is sometimes! Oh no, that's horrendous. I'm gonna strike it just in case we have to wait. This feels kind of unfair. How long do I have to wait here? Hello? Was it a health total I had to wait for? Why was that like a two minute cutscene? And if they did design it off of health, that's stupid. <laughs> right, chat? Actually stupid. Wait, you cannot attack it like this. I know, Zero, as I was waiting for you to do something, you, you dummy. You have to strike its roots. Now loading.
Aeon, wait. We must use a different tactic. Strike the roots to kill it. What's happening? Yeah, what's going on, Zeroes? Did something happen to Aeon? Listen to me, Aeon is about to be killed by the ultimate life form. The monster which my evil half created has him trapped. How do you know? I can see it happening through my twin. Aeon can fight his way out. He is a great warrior. This monster has extraordinary powers. What do you mean? It is the ultimate life form, the final result of all my research. Then you can't... Then can't you do something about it? There's only one way to kill it. You eliminate the the life for oh excuse me. I did not I keep forgetting every button advances the dialogue. I leaned on the D-pad by accident chat while adjusting my position. Um so he said you can kill the life form as long as you can strike the main portion, but it's protected by a barrier, I think is what he said. In other words, you must kill me somehow. To release the barrier. No, Zeroes, there must be another way. It's all my fault. Yeah, it really is, actually. That Aeon, there could be no hope for our future. We don't have much time. Don't pity me. I am your enemy. You have to kill me. So remember, chat, when I said we would have been better off if we just killed him when we saw him earlier? This whole thing wouldn't be happening if we just killed him earlier. We can't. Zeroes. Arcia, let me speak to him alone. Laramie, no! Did you forget your mission? Without Eon, we will fail. This is our only choice. Everyone's lives depend on it. I made up my mind. Yeah, we're, we're just gonna we're just gonna investigate him real quick, chat. It's a serious style. You can't kill him. Arcia, Zeroist is willing to die for this purpose. We don't do this. The guilt will destroy him. He'll die either way. This is not fair to you. Perhaps I can think of a better plan. Plan quickly. Yes, there must be a better solution. If I'd only known this would happen. Well, I mean, you kind of did. You knew what the evil twin was doing the whole time. You two, wait right here. I'm going to help Eon. All right, Zeroes. Is he gonna kill himself so they don't have to kill him? Is that what his new solution is? Throne chamber. <laughs> My dear, precious Hergazon, I have some human flesh for you to enjoy. What is this? Magic, impossible. You! How can you be here? I forbid you to interfere! I never thought you would come here. You are a fool! How long do you think you will survive? Soon that monster will kill all the humans, and then it will come after you, too! Oh, wrong person speaking. It does not help that they're both the same character. Well, anyway, Zeroa says, and then they'll kill you, too. Evil Zeroa responds with, What? Do you want me to give up all of our research? This ultimate life form holds all of our answers to immortality. Immortality is useless if you lose your humanity. The ex experiment has gone terribly wrong and we must destroy it. I knew you wouldn't do it, so I came here. Are you crazy? The ultimate life form has almost been completed. But you must realize this is not what I intended. It lacks human emotions. This ultimate life form will destroy everything without any remorse. Oh, so it's just me. They're recreating me as a, a character. Got it. Are you trying to reunite us? You know that it's impossible. We'll explode. <laughs> we'll explode? What? <laughs> oh, the hug of death chat. Here we go. Don't do this. You're such a fool. Ah! Oh, I want to see him explode. Oh, if he like PS1 chunks everywhere, that that would that would lift my spirits.
Eon, I have removed the magic barrier. You must take care of the rest. Cirrus's good side destroyed the barrier. Now it's my turn. Okay. Oops. Oh, it seems to be slowing me down. Huh, that's kind of annoying. Alright, we can get into War of Attrition with this monster. This is fine. Okay, the constantly shifting room makes this way harder than this should be, I would like to see. Like this? I don't think there's anything I could do about this. Now I can attack. Oh, the room shifting. Alright, so now it blocked me. Oh, it stretched right as I swung! That is so unfair. That is so unfair, chat. Holy. At least I'm bullying him now. Oh, and then the room shifted. Thanks, game. Cool story. Oh, I could have attacked there. You can see the red thing slows me down. The blue thing, I think, locks me in place. Uh, so the cycle is I gotta stand a certain distance away to stop that wall attack from occurring But then he'll like put his tentacles underground and try to punish me But the downside is when I go to punish him the room could randomly stretch and hit me So this feels pretty unfair as a boss battle because I don't know when the room will stretch And move me closer or how it's going to stretch Like that Come on. Case in point. So yeah, this fight is definitely way more annoying than it should be. I'm gonna do something like this, maybe? Wow! The denial! Really? What do you want me to do, game? Is this not it? Oh, of course. The room stretched, so I missed. Man... This doesn't feel like a skill-based battle, I'm not gonna lie. The other bosses were mostly well done. This boss is... They should have gone back to the drawing board. I don't mind the concept of the wall. It's the whole arena completely ruins this. It makes this way more annoying than this should be. Come on. Wow. I have to, I just have to hold block here. I don't think there's anything I could do. Wow, the room stretch made it hit me. <laughs> Wow, wow, I'm getting cheated so hard right now, chat. Did you see me run like five steps and then it scrunched the room so where I was when I was doing those five steps was in range? That is so cheap. That is so cheap. Yeah, you better pray you put up a little wall. I'm gonna bully you now. Jerk. Yeah, there, where's your wall god now? What is going on? Arena, please. So I think the goal is I have to run at it kind of diagonally. And then I can get in without hitting the wall roots. So I think I've mostly figured that part out. So now I should just straight up bully him for his last life total. Oh, whoa. That was not intended. So I gotta go like here and it should work? It did. Oh, oh the stretching room messed it up. Of course. Thanks, stretching room. Of course. Can't get closer. Of course. 
Room stretches, defeating me again. Uh, I should kill him here unless the room stretches weirdly. Uh, that was a dumb boss battle. That that felt zero skill. Zero skill was involved with it. The only skill was learning how to deal with his little underground things and attacking him diagonally. But it literally was just dice roll, whether or not the room would move in a way that would stop me from winning. And that happened, I think, three times in that fight. I'm going to declare so far, this is by far the worst boss in the game. That arena was horrendous. But we defeated her, Gazad. Now loading. The boss battle itself went fairly quick once I was able to bully, at least. Looks like there's a letter here on the ground. It better be an apology to us. <laughs> Alright, right, chat? No from Zero Asterion. I hope I... I'm hoping you have won. I wanted to explain to you why I would create such an evil entity. First, I was only looking for a way to make the human race immortal. I saw how the old people felt, how sad it was when someone died. I thought by finding the secret immortality, I could change all that. However, the ultimate life form I created lacked the most important thing of all. It did not have any emotions, and therefore became a monster. But man is a monster, chat. My good half knew that this creature should not exist, but my evil half wanted to finish the experiment. Dun dun dun. I continued my research, but only to find a way to destroy the evil atrocity. I finally found the solution, and enabled you to get rid of this monster for good. Unfortunately, the solution meant the end of both sides of me. Now I must say goodbye. I've instructed Gandor on how to infiltrate Saphir. Now you must finish your mission. Please watch over Laramie and Slazer. Sincerely, Zeroist. Well, you can sincerely suck it, old man. <laughs> that plot sucked. Corky says, It sounds like he thought he would never see us again. Ian, I think we better get to the basement. You're overcome by a mysterious power. You've gained a level. So, yeah... Whereas I felt like me getting injured on the other bosses was just like the natural me learning how to deal with the boss. That one felt like I, there was nothing I could do. Like even when I understood the pattern, the room stretching literally ruined the whole idea of the boss. It was a little less tedious overall than the sorcerer fight. And granted, I started getting more used to the sorcerer fight towards the tail end. Um, but yeah, that just was that that fight was just way more obnoxious than that should have been. Uh, so I guess we'll go back to the barrier. So basically, I want to get up to the point where we talk about going to the new continent, and then I think we'll take a we'll take a break for the day. Surprisingly, I think the stream has been behaving itself. So I mean, we'll try again in the afternoon with some Phoenix. Let's see where things go from there. Zerus was determined not to return here. Just trying to keep things under control. We're in Julius's basement now. Oh, Eon, you're all right. I'm so relieved. Are you the only one here? Cyrus decided he had to help you somehow. Of course. Help me defeat that monster. I don't know how he did it. Suddenly, he left us here. Laramie went to look for him. Eon, do you think he's all right? No, no, no. He's crazy dead. Well, I don't know. I hope he's okay. <laughs> what do you mean you don't know? <laughs> right, chat? Wait, we read his death letter and we're like, nah, that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Eon, have you seen Zeroist anywhere? Oh, well, at least you're all right. By the way, Laramie, Jill said it would take them more than a day to make the repairs. And I'm going to stay here tonight. How about you? I'm staying here too. All right. But if you're worried about me, I'm fine now. I guess I'll stay the night here too. Maybe keeping each other company will comfort us. You're such a gentleman. Eon, Laramie, and Arcea talked through the evening and then fell soundly asleep. <laughs> uh, are you?
you loading something? <laughs> You're not now loading me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> right, don't scare me with the no music, no nothing on the screen game. I, I keep thinking you've crashed. <laughs> the next morning. Zero still hasn't returned. We can't keep waiting here. We need to complete our mission. Yeah, we never found the wise man, by the way, I guess. So... I, I guess we still have more to do here. So we might have to take a break, I guess, at some point. Yes, we should find the wise man so we could save the continent. Sorry, but it took longer than expected to repair the good. Zero was disappeared on us. Some of the townspeople helped us with the rest. Oh, that's good. Is something wrong, Laramie? You look disturbed. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, <laughs> that's more like it. I'm going back to, to the good. Come whenever you're ready. Gandor is worried about you as well. Hmm. I'm going to look for the wise man. I'll join you. Arcea, why don't you wait here? Yes, I don't want to get in the way. N no, Arcea. We need you to recite the lifting verse. Let's go find the wise man. Talk to Arcea again. Always asking so much. I'm very sorry. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Gainsis barrier. Or barrier. Zerus told me. And I could trust them. What should I do? What? Eon. Um. Okay. So, how do we advance the plot? Don't have anything new to say. <laughs> right, chat? Now now we have to find the plot. We, we need an ace detective to help us. They're saying maybe it was divine intervention that saved the church. Nothing new here. Were you looking for wise men? Yes, I was, actually. Gunst knows a lot about them. Why don't you ask him? Oh, we just did, though. Quintet! <laughs> anyway, let's go back. Oops. Alright, let's see if we have something new happen here. There we go. What? What do you want to know about? I'll ask about Zero Wiss. What? Sorry, I don't know about that. You better try getting the information from town. What? What do you mean he won't talk about Zeroist? What? We're in his lab. That's about the wise men. What? Sorry, I don't know about that. Um. What? What do you want me to do? I'm assuming we don't do anything in the left town because most of the people that are there are the people I rescued. Therefore, they shouldn't be plot relevant. So only really Sensei from the other town is there. Oh, Ian says, let me ask you something. What do you know about Geintz? What do you know? What do you want to know about him? Seems to be hiding something. Looking for the lifting verse to save this continent. I think he may know about it. Hmm, all right, I'll try to help you out. Hmm. Well, we're waiting for Zeroist to fix the ship. He came by and helped us make some repairs. Really? The good was made with magical technology. That means Guns must be a scholar of magic like Zero is. Hmm. Let me ask my father. He might know more. It's obvious Guns is hiding something. Let's go find him. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Please find the lifting first and save our continent. Okay, now do I go back to him again? Is this good enough to have a conversation now, or is he just still not going to talk to us? 
Magic seals? No, I don't really have any. It's lucky that I could even repair the good. Oops. Oh, man. <laughs> Chan, I think we should just draw a weapon and threaten him. I'm, I'm kind of with the... Uh, I'm kind of with the pirate mentality. Screw talking to these people, chat. How many times... How many more people do I have to talk to before this guy talks to me? Jeez, fine, I'll go to the mayor. Because I think we talked about, like, literally everybody else. Ridiculous. What? You want to know about Gaines? Usually I don't do things which, which don't make me any money, but I guess I'll tell you. Gaines is the descendant of one of the wise men. And what a waste of time, chat. <laughs> what a time waster. He had given me hush money, but oh well. Wow. So he is 0% helpful. We had to get like three people to tell us what he knows. We're just going to shake him repeatedly and say, Stop wasting our time, old man. Oh, it's you again. Let's ask about the wise man's descendant. The wise man perished, and the Imperial Orb stole our... Imperial Army stole our orb. There's just... No, nothing. Ask about magic skills. Yes, I've known Zeroist for quite a long time. He used to be a researcher. Tried to get harmony between magic and nature. He should be ashamed. The Duprita which he created is the cause of the disaster. 0% helpful and apparently can't keep his word. Welcome, Dango, indeed. The townspeople will be very angry about that. No, nothing. There's no need to keep this secret any longer. I am a descendant of the wise man. The Imperial Army is looking for me. So I need to hide my identity carefully. I didn't think you were after me, but I needed to make sure. I'm sorry. But I'm only a distant relative. There's an altar in the Slagmite Castle which conceals a secret message. Oh, I saw that earlier, but I don't know how to reach that. You should go see it. If you're worthy, a path may be open for you. Sounds like we're looking... What we're looking for is in the castle. Uh, well, let's at least get to the point of the lifting verse. So here's the deal, chat. If we have no issues with the evening stream, we will do PSO tomorrow. So, so far, it's been behaving itself. I don't think it's dropped at all. Or at least not to the extent that it, uh... Causes a stutter. Yeah, zero, zero frames dropped as well. So definitely behaving itself a bit better. So anyway, let's go ahead and proceed. I wonder what wonderful poem we're about to listen to is going to be from this lifting verse. So we still have a majority of our magic. We have like a million healing items. I'm feeling pretty good for the next dungeon of the game. Uh oh, Chan, hold on. I think we have another visitor that we might have to say goodbye to. Let's see what their, the Twitch addiction is. Ooh, they're in 3,841 channels. You know what, Chan? Let's go help this user with their Twitch addiction. <laughs> if I could get this thing to undo. Oh, apparently not. It froze my chat. I'm the one that got trolled. Huh. That's unfortunate. Oh, I see what happened. And yeah, now it should work. So anyway, goodbye. <laughs> I mean, they literally put the name bot in their in their user list. Do you know what I mean, chat? Like, I'm, I'm gonna notice it eventually. Like, I don't usually glance too often at the chat, like, in terms of, like, who's viewing. But just on occasion... Oh, hey, chat, hold on. We have some... Oh, this person is in 4,677 channels. Why don't, why don't we help them with their Twitch addiction as well? 
We, we got a lot of people to kind of help out, chat. Yeah. I know, I, their their ability to multitask and take in information, I'm jealous. You know, I, I can sort of play a game and chat and look at chat, sort of, but they, they can they can read like 4,000 chats at once. They're, they're, they should stream chat, they're really good. Mysterious Chan echoes through your mind. My name is Wise Man Galt. You're entrusted with the fate of the continent. Why didn't you talk to us earlier? We were here before. You who hold the orb, come to the altar. Okay. We'll do a little safety save here in case something nonsensical happens. <laughs> Bosses or game crashes, you take your pick. Well, now we can come over here. Here's the stone. When you touch the altar, it begins to shine brightly. Oh, he was. <laughs> well, he's creeping on us. I am Galt, the wise man of fire. It is good that you have made it here safely. Although I really question how they call me a wise man, given that we had a precariously balanced set of two towns where even one stone would throw off the weight and kill everybody. Truly, I am the wisest of wise men so far that you've met. Anyway, let's continue with what he's actually saying. The Imperial Army will soon find me and take me prisoner. I'm leaving you this message in hopes you'll find it. The only person who can recite the lifting verse is Arcea, Wise Man Zora's daughter. Why could she why is she the only person that could do it? Only a kind heart and strong mind can summon the help of the spirits. <laughs> Dango says, Hi old man who just thrusted the responsibility of the entire land on me. Pretty much. Nothing about this place is wise, exactly. She must receive the lifting verse and be able to recite it. The altar will help her perform the ceremony. You know, if she died, like... They really should have taught more descendants on how to do the verse. I'm just saying. The lifting verse can be found on the altar. Use it to save our continent. I also like that she has to travel to all these continents to save them. But at the same time, it's like, how... If at any point they couldn't air travel, like, what, what was their backup plan? If, if she ever gets injured, is it just over? I need to tell Arcea about this immediately. The melody of the lifting verse echoes through your mind. The scepter memorizes the lifting verse for Volkos. So like, what's over here? Is it just, just the door? Is there a chest? No. All right, well we... I, I feel like we should have been able to do something with this door. I wonder if it was cut content. Like, listen. We'll put it here. Maybe we'll make it a dungeon later. And then they went, nah. Anyway, let's warp back to the beginning. Doesn't sound very wise in retrospect. <laughs> Pretty much. They, they are the big dumb. So I guess I'm just going to go back to the lab, and then we're almost done with this place. That was pretty good. We managed to actually clear this in one session. Despite a lot of forced encounters. A lot of forced encounters. What was that, like 20 fights today or something? Anyway, bye wise man who basically didn't help us at all. I literally knew to go there before you told me that, because we saw that earlier. Gaines is related to a wise man? No wonder he acted strangely when we asked about wise men. But where do I recite the verse? The wise man Gull told me how to get help from the spirits. Since you're the wise man's descendant and have the orb, the fire spirit will open the path. Hmm. All right. The scepter restores the lifting verse of the fire spirit. I must go. I have to conduct the lifting ceremony alone. Eon, please stay here. See, so yeah, a ton of MP, ton of HP. Feeling pretty good. Fire Spirit, 
Please lead me to your sacred place. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well then. Arcea begins to recite the lifting verse. I like to think like what if what if the what if the altar ended up on the wrong side of the continent? So so it goes to take her there, but everything's upside down, so she just falls off. <laughs> right, chat? Like I'm just saying. If if that castle's sideways, why is this the right way up? I'm just saying. Anyway, what is she reciting? Crackling embers red with heat. Help me with this awesome feat. To raise this land up to the sky, so the people shall not die. Breath of fire, hot with rage. Don't let it be the final page. Blow this earth away from water, so you may keep finding... I think they thought fodder and water rhymed with each other, but they don't really rhyme that well. At least it's not like a hard rhyme. Anyway, so you may keep finding fodder. Fire spirit, I call to you and help us make this world anew. She has no face. Indeed. It, we'll, we'll pretend it got stripped away by the spirits. Anyway, let's let her call to make the world anew. Oh, she's still going. Oh, I, di I didn't realize this was the... Uh, it, was, it wasn't a verse. It was a whole album. Dancing flames and burning coals. Save this land and all of its souls. I mean, that one had a better scheme to it. I could kind of feel where the rhythm was meant to be. I wonder if Arcea can perform the lifting ceremony. Don't worry, Quirky. Wiseman Galt will help her if she needs it. She'll be just fine. Wow, another continent has been saved. Our mission is almost complete. Just one more continent. Are we ready to rescue Saphir? Laramie and Arcea are already on board the Good. Let's go. I'm going to take Erlen. What heirloom? Sierra told me it won't get, be easy to get to Zephyr. So there's a barrier protecting it. The barrier was created by the Imperial Wizardry. Their headquarters are located there. If you take heirloom, it may come under attack. But I must take heirloom to Zephyr. Otherwise, the lifting ceremony cannot be completed. We can do it. That's nonsense. Heirloom will be destroyed if you take it to Zephyr. If that happens, you'll never complete that lifting ceremony. Besides, Erlim can find the way once you get there. He's programmed to find the location of his master. You need to think about... How, wait, how does he know that? You need to think about how dangerous this mission will be for all of us. Well, what should I do? Come aboard the Good. But how will you find Saphir? Zeroist installed a mechanism which can locate the continent. Oh, what about the Vangal? No problem there either. Our weapons have been upgraded and our shields reinforced. Finally, we will have the chance to do some real fighting. All right, we'll summon Erlen once we reach Saphir. Does that sound good? We nod our head. Okay, Gandor. Let's go check on Erlen. Yes, make sure he agrees with the plan. Alright, well, I'm gonna save, so once we get to Erlim, I'm not gonna do whatever at once. I would like to pause here for now. I think we made really solid progress. Bye, wise man, who really sucks. I'm assuming maybe the Black Force spirit thing that we had earlier might unlock the cards that the other guy was mentioning. Maybe. 
So if I want to do a bonus quest with the old man in the heretic cave, I might have to grind that. I'm not just I'm not sure how much it's actually worth doing though. Amlin, can you take us to Saphir? No, I cannot. It is not in your memory. There's also an invisible barrier surrounding it. We should have caught a ride on Good. I may be able to follow the airship to the location. That's all right. I'll call for you once I get there. I'm afraid the barrier will make it impossible for me to find your location. Then you'd better stay behind the Good, as you wish. I will follow the Good to the land of Saphir. Okay, let's go catch the Good. No, no, no. Let me save the game. No, 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 uh, no, no, no. I don't want to do this. Rude. Well, I guess we're here now. Anyway, we're in the good cockpit now. Why did the volcano suddenly erupt? The Vangle was here. Must have fired a torpedo into the volcano. Didn't you see them while you, you were circling? Why didn't you protect us? It was already too late. We didn't know the Vengal was navigating with the help of the Hydro Storm. What? The Vengal can navigate the Hydro Storm? How is that possible? I don't know. Do you think? No. It can't be him. How else could they do it unless Slazer? Oh, but let's focus on what's happening right now. Are you still going to Saphir? Yes, we have to save the continents. Why are we the ones who have to save all the continents anyway? We'll be all right on our own. Yeah, we could have let the fire one sink. I, would th I think that would have been nothing lost on us. <laughs> oh, Dango hitting with the classic, do you think? No, me neither, lady. Nice. <laughs> it's true. Although, I guess these are the least dumb characters. I think. But, but that, that is not really a high bar to clear, to be honest. Don't be selfish. It's our duty to fight the enemy. And I'm proud of my fighting skills. We can't abandon all these people. We'll have to fight as long as we have to. I suppose you're right, Gandor. I'll stay and fight at your side. After all, I'm a desperate pirate. Tell Eon that I'll be in my room. Okay, I just want to save the game. Well, I'm in a treasure chest. It's empty. Hmm. Can I save the game anywhere is the question. I could go in the shower. Perhaps this belongs to Gandor. Gandor gave us permission to use this room. It's nice to have our own room. Oh, damn. There really isn't a save point here. That's really unfortunate. Well, let's explore the ship, I guess. Oh yeah, there was the save point here. Hmm. Anything new in these crates? Not really. Oh, fake treasure. Oh, that's unfortunate. I think the fake treasure we were supposed to give to the mayor earlier. Damn, I did miss an item. It was in that crate. I must have I must have done this and not activated it, because I feel like I hit all of them where I did something like this and didn't get close enough. Oh well. That might have saved us a gold plate or something. Maybe some alternate dialogue. Oh well, chat. Well, this is a good place to stomp. So let's stop for now. So let's chat how we feel the session went overall. Um, there were a lot of forced fights in that dungeon. The dungeon design was... I would say the castle portion was really interesting. The biological one was interesting in the sense that it was kind of like horrific. But in terms of the actual design, it was quite terrible. We had the you must kill enemies to open door mechanic. We had the really hidden entrance to continue with the dungeon. 
And then we had probably the worst boss fight so far in the game with the stretchy rooms. That stretchy boss fight arena was gross. Yeah, in a game that really makes you think about spacing, timing, and uh, general positioning of your attacks, having the screen warp move you potentially like eight character lengths in any direction is insane. I don't know what they were thinking. I'm just kidding, it's Quintet. They have no idea what they're doing with boss design. But <laughs> hopefully we won't get another boss like that. We did end up uh, discovering slash figuring out what it meant by something earlier, and we did discover that we could, if we get flawless victories back to back, get upgraded treasure. However, we saw the results were extraordinarily wonky. The number of gems we're getting at this point in the game is pretty much borderline insulting. Like, at this point, every battle that gives us gems should allow us to buy the cheapest item in the store. I'm sorry. Like, we are three areas in. We should be able to buy some healing herbs with the gems. None of this, like, 25 gem BS. Like, that's just insane. Think about it, chat. That's, like, actually crazy. Also, I just realized something, chat. If we had used up the 500 gems in the Apothecary, and we were out of gems... We would have had to have gone back to one of the earlier dungeons and grind for 500 to advance the plot. So we were actually money locked. And fortunately, I did not spend all my money because that's usually what I do in these kinds of games rather than hoard it. Fortunately, I decided early on I don't care about items in the shop, so I'm not going to constantly upgrade. But imagine if you were a player that was spending all of your gems and you wouldn't be able to afford the 1000 spell, and you also would have needed 500 to get the other potion. So I'm really glad I did not spend down our cash. That would have been really unfortunate. So, unfortunate design choices. I will say Volkos is probably the worst continent we've visited so far. The whole, there's too many people on one side, the volcano will tip is really stupid. I don't apologize for it, it's stupid. You know what, chat? They have all this advanced technology and they could have blown a hole in stuff at any time. Why didn't they just open a hole in the volcano facing off of the continent itself? Like, if it, if it was that easy and that it was just gonna tip out and kill everybody, why wouldn't they do that? Plus it would make the land lighter, which is all they're really concerned about. I'm just saying this felt like a really easy to deal with thing, given the technology of the place. But anyway, chat, we'll not dwell on the stupidity of the people in Volkos. So what we'll end up doing is probably trying to get into Saphir. We're probably going to end up on the airship of the enemy. The Vangal, I think it was called. Probably in the near future. Uh, we'll go ahead and explore our current airship for next time. So we probably missed a couple things, sadly. Uh, looks like I didn't take my time like I should have in that airship, but it is what it is. I'm not replaying the game to see the optional dialogue. We're like seven, eight hours since we last touched that point. So we'll have to deal with it, I guess. Oh, well. But anyway, chat. Uh, we have more to talk about, but I think that's it in terms of Grand Stream Saga discussions. So hopefully you enjoyed today's session. But for now, we're going to have to say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point in the video or the VOD, I'd just like to say thank you again for watching, and hope to see you again in the next part.